Hello. Welcome in. Drama. Can I get a drama? Drama. <laughs> welcome, welcome in. Daf Daf and Dabney. Interesting. Apparently it's the weekend's birthday. Wow. Abel. Your computer is so slow when I first put it up. Same. I think I like, what's weird is that I thought I pressed the power button on my computer to start it up, but apparently it didn't work. So I was very concerned. But luckily it worked and I feel very pleased. But good morning. I woke up feeling refreshed and happy and good because I actually got up out of my bed at 8.30 for once in my life. You need to restart your computer, but I'm scared. <laughs> Me, I'm just like, no, 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 no. We, we don't reset until I'm good and ready. Don't do it on your own free time, computer. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, technology is scary, if you can't tell. It always does the uttermost when you least expect it. And you're thinking to yourself, what was the reason? What was the reason? Reset after Masters is complete. Yes. Yes. When I'm good and ready. <laughs> when I'm good and ready, I will restart. Just not now. Not now. <laughs> after you finish the Masters and then, then, then you can reset. And then all life is good. Yeah. Totally. Totally. <laughs> I can find an external hard drive that doesn't cost an armor like right that would be nice that would be a dream which reminds me I need to actually um I need to clear out my external hard drive it's four terabytes but um I have so much stuff on there that I need to like clean it out I got like years like over a decade of stuff on that stuff on that external hard drive that I just need to clear out but I might buy another one, just because why not? Um, and Ez Rondell, welcome in, welcome in, hello, hello. Ez Rodell, Ez Rodell, welcome in. I'm doing good today. We are gonna be playing The Sims Life Stories, which I'm very excited about. I haven't played that game on stream in a while, but for the most part, I've been good. How are you? How is your morning? How's it going? Are you ready to rock tonight? Cause I'm ready to rock. Sometimes I feel like I'm too hyper in the morning. <gasps> Ooh, I found a two terabyte external hard drive at Best Buy for $60. That's not bad. That's not bad. Robin, good morning. Hello. How are you doing today? Welcome in, welcome in. We're gonna get started with the stream in a minute. I just wanna, you know, trickle in the morning get my eyes open up you know the morning's Whee! not as strong as soon Whee! oh i need to change the date since i'm already here you should do that but crystal good morning how are you doing today i hope you're doing so well good morning in kenya good morning hello hello and katie good morning Good morning. <laughs> I'm too much in the morning. This is a problem that I'm not going to fix. Um, Pine, welcome in. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing so well today, besties. Ooh, that's not it. I have been just chilling mostly this morning, figuring out what I wanted to do for the rest of the day after stream. And I think I should actually work on some coloring stuff that I need to do. Which reminds me also, I haven't done an art stream in in a, in a long time. And I kind of want to do a morning stream again. More, not a morning stream. I want to do another art stream at some point. Hopefully soon. Mary Kate and Tragic Siren and Autumn, welcome in, besties. Hello. How are you? I am not a morning person. I can get, I can get up at 8.30, but I don't like getting up at 8.30. I've been trying to 
pressure myself, like force myself to get up early in the morning, like at eight o'clock, 8.30, so I can get started with my day. Cause if I don't get up before, like, or I mean, if I get up after like maybe nine, I feel like my day's wasted, you know? Cause by then I, I would have to like figure other things out, you know? Airy fairy, welcome in, how are you? I'm more of a, a night owl. I can go to bed at 2 a.m., but <laughs> I mean, I can go to bed at 2 a.m. and wake up at 8.30 and feel exactly the same, like hyperactive and weird, but I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm, no, no, no. <laughs> you will see an art stream. I was actually watching an art stream earlier this morning and it was so relaxing. Like I really enjoyed it. And it kind of made me miss like doing art streams on, on Twitch. So I wanted to be able to kind of do that again since I am getting back into the swing of things of making art on my iPad. I was going to ask if you kind of feel like doing an art stream. Yeah, I feel like I do. I think once we finish like this game, I kind of want to schedule like some morning streams on Wednesdays where we just do art. Like it's a, um, what's it called? Um, you know how like those streamers do those, um, what are they called? Co-working streams? Like you all could like work on homework or read a book. I, I don't know what it is. It's like, it's, it's like a co-working stream. We work on things together. If that makes sense. I don't know. I know Claire Siobhan has done that one time. She was working on her wedding preparations while she was streaming and people were working with her and stuff. And I thought that was really cool. Um, and good morning, sunshine. I don't know why I'm so up early. I went to sleep pretty late because I'm doing some work for, for class. You know, Autumn, I feel the same. I went to bed at like three. I Well, I went to bed at three, but I actually fell asleep at at midnight watching Hometown Cha Cha Cha. But I was like, uh-uh, I need to actually go to bed, you know, like go to bed. You're a mega morning person. You naturally wake up at seven o'clock when I'm passed out at 10. <laughs> I feel that I'm, I feel that on a deep level. There are times where I'm like, mm, maybe I should like wake up. Like I feel like I should like I'm like sleeping, but I'm trying to get my body to wake up at seven or like eight o'clock, but it doesn't work, you know. <laughs> and uh, TGB edits, welcome in. How are you doing today? Good morning. Uh, I'm definitely a night owl. My brain kicks into gear at like 9 p.m. And all of a sudden I have like 30,000 ideas. I hate it. I hate it so much. I always, I feel like I have my best ideas at nighttime. Like literally after I get off a of stream, I'm like, I have all these ideas. I should record a video, but I'm like, I'm dead tired and I don't want to talk anymore. I hate that. But I also love that at the same time. Like, you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean, Kenya? It's like you want to do all these things, but it's like, it's like it's almost midnight. We got to go to bed. <laughs> Lynn, welcome in. You feel the same way, though. I don't want to wake up at before 10. I feel like my day is wasted already. Yeah. Artie does that too? Really? I didn't know that. I've only caught like some of their sim streams. I haven't, didn't know they did co working streams. Not me waking up at 6 a.m. naturally. Um, Are you good you have to have <laughs> i don't think i could do that anymore i don't really like roblox roblox is scary um children are scary on that game i don't understand it uh, i wake up at 7 30 every morning till for work but i naturally wake up at 8 to 8 30 now because of it okay that seems reasonable but 6 a.m is like i don't know about that <laughs> pops and a video and sound is out of sync oh no Oh no, but it takes a minute. Yeah, I'm the same way, Lynn. 5 a.m.? 5 a.m.? Hmm. Mm, that's like 4 a.m. my time. I don't know about that. I, I don't I don't know about that time. I'm a little, no. <laughs> uh, whenever I try to wake up early, I end up walking up, wait, waking up the, mid, the midst of the night and then I get tired by noon, yeah. That's me. <laughs> sometimes I try to tell my brain, hold that thought till morning. At least I try to, I try to write things down sometimes, but it doesn't help. 5.30? 6 o'clock? Oh my gosh. 
what in the world? I can't do that. My brain can't fathom like six o'clock in the morning anymore because I'm out of high school and I don't do show choir anymore. So my brain's like thinking, okay, we can get up at like eight o'clock. We'll be good. We'll be fine. We're not late for school or anything. I'm like, oh gosh. And a fan, welcome in. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. I hope your day is going pretty well today, bestie. You need to because I, f I need a few animals in the, in the zoo. Yeah. Yeah, you know, at the time, yeah, I can kind of see that happening. Yeah. I always get up at six for classes and I feel like waking up at 730 and sleeping in. There are days where I just want to sleep in and not go to school, you know? <laughs> like, I just want to sleep. Like, professor, email me the paper later. I I'll, I'll, I'll want to sleep now. I need to sleep. I need to sleep. So we all get out here just waking up early. Whew. We are one and the same. We are, this, this is why we are our community. We, we get up pretty much at the same time. We're all the same person. <laughs> and uh, Arendelle, I'm happy that you're here and I'm glad I can give you this positive energy today. Writing it down doesn't help me either. It doesn't usually just lead into a rabbit hole. I just end up doing something anyway. Yeah. I feel like for me, if I write something down, I'm just thinking, what is this? Like, I have so many ideas. I write it down. I'm thinking, why did I write this? Like, literally last night, I was thinking, I was saying a quote. And I don't remember, was it in my voice acting class? Was it in a stream? Because I was quoting a quote from Glee about, about something where... If you are a part of something special, it makes you special. And it was like a Glee quote. It was Will Schuster's old show choir teacher that gave that quote to that group. And it was weird. And I'm like, why did I think about that? Just randomly. It was weird. And you're doing good. I've been sick in the worst tonsillitis. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you feel better. Um, My first year of college, I signed up for seven, eight classes. I mean, you get them out the way, though, so... That works, right? What games do I play other than Sims? Minecraft, randomly, uh, Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing. I do play story choice games a lot on Twitch. We are still f trying to finish Spirit Fair at the moment on stream, but I play a lot of games, a lot of games on Twitch. There's occasionally I, I will play City Skylines I do want to actually want to play again, um, Cozy Grove again, and also The Tenets. But yeah, I play a lot of games. A lot of games. Normally in 9 times of 10, all people see is me play The Sims as that's what they pop into. But on occasion, I'll like play a different game every once in a while. Um, which reminds me, we need to schedule another Stardew Valley stream at some point. It's been too long. It's been too long. In Stardew Valley. And then I also want to get back in the city skylines as I've been kind of changing up some mods I had in my game recently. And then I'm waiting until the next DLC comes out for House Flipper to play it again. Because right now I'm kind of bored of that game, to be honest. So when new House Flipper DLC comes out, I'll play it again. Um, there are games that I play just by myself off stream, like League of Legends. <laughs> And Far Cry 6 um, and Minecraft by myself just because I don't know how to stream those games, nor do I feel like it would be really entertaining to for me to play on stream. But yeah, we actually also finished playing Life is Strange. Like I am a huge, like huge Life is Strange, like story driven adventure games are my thing. I will play literally any story driven adventure game that sparks my interest on stream because that stuff is great um but yeah those are some games that i usually play on uh on stream and by myself <clears throat> i used to play roblox one time but the last the last time i played roblox i got cussed out by a child and i was like no i'm done i can't i quit <laughs> i'm like if i get cussed out by a child in a video game that's made for children i'm like okay i gotta go this is too much not for me that was Roblox and that was also Club Penguin. And I was like, no, no. So I quit, I quit whole, the whole thing, Roblox. They yelled at me cause I wasn't playing the game correctly. And I'm just like, uh-uh, 
where's your parents? You need to go. Like, where, where you need to go to school. Because this is like past your bedtime. Also, all about Monster X, welcome in. You're stopping by your lunch hour. How's lunch, by the way? In some interior, hello. Um, let's see. Let's see. Yes, we do need to schedule another Stardew Valley stream for sure at some point. I had it in the schedule like two weeks ago, but then I never actually did it because so many things came up at the same time that I was like, I can't do them all. And there also have been points where I wanted to do like a double stream, like stream in the morning and then stream again at night. And I was like, mm, no. Oh, I'm so, I'm here in the hospital right now because when I was on... Cause I was an online class and I was late to feed the Puma. So I used my cord bike and then hit a nub and fell off. Oh, I hope you, I hope your arm feels better and heals up quickly. That's not fun. Ooh wee. That sounds like it hurt. But feel, you know, heal fast, heal fast. You still have no idea what Roblox even is. I would call it a low poly version of Minecraft. Like, it's kind of like Minecraft, but not like Minecraft. It's, well, it's kind of mixed with, like, my idea of, like, Sims mixed with Minecraft mixed with another video game I played in the past, like Club Penguin. Like, those three games combined, but very, very, like, low poly, all blocky type things. It's so weird. And Roblox now has voice chat, so it's even worse. It's even worse with voice chat. Don't recommend. Like, I'm not kidding. The last time I actually played Roblox is when Squid Game came out. And I was trying to test out how the new Roblox Squid Game game was working. And it was really interested. And I did actually win. So I was a bit of a pro. I really loved Roblox at the time. And then I quit after that. <laughs> it was pretty entertaining. I'll try to get Garrett to play too. Let's hope so. Let's hope Gear can play. You're still waiting for your lunch to arrive. You sent your brother to get Popeye's chicken sandwich. Ooh, that's fancy. I haven't had Popeye's in a while. You know, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. So if you're popping in right now, um, we are playing a game called The Sims Life Stories. It's a spinoff version of The Sims 2, just like Sims and Evil, where that was a spinoff of The Sims 3. This is just like The Sims 2, but with a story mode attached to it, which I think is like really, really cool to be honest. Ooh, no, do not eat food. Do not eat food. Um, so there's like two different story modes to this one. There is Riley's story, and then there's also Vincent's story, which we're on right now. Now this Sim is a multi-millionaire. He's in the business career and the business tycoon at level 10. He's like a bachelor, I would say, but he has very bad luck with love and relationships. Like at the very beginning of his of the story, his girlfriend of three weeks tried to marry him. And what's funny is that his, they've only been dating for three weeks, but he's been gone for two of those weeks. And Samantha Hayden was like, let's get married in your backyard right here, right now. So, gold digger. Potato chips at 4 a.m. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Jenny gracefully welcome in. How are you? And good morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, voice chat's scary when it comes to video games. I don't know if Club Penguin has it. They probably will at some point, I guess. But who knows when? Yeah, this game in your closet right now. I sh I just gave it a shot again. How are you liking it? Are you loving the drama that brings this that brings to the game? And Savvy, welcome in. Hello, hello. And Shauna, welcome in. Hello. Good morning. I hope you're all having a good morning today or afternoon. I finally thawed out my um, chicken I had the other day. It was really great. I put it in the oven and it was delicious. It was delicious. So now we're just kind of waiting. We're at a, at a standstill with Vincent's story right now because the last stream that we did, we went on a date with someone who was also a gold digger and wanting just us for our money and buy them clothes. So now we're just waiting. Yeah, Club Penguin still exists, but it's like a, uh, a rewritten version of it. Like the old Club Penguin doesn't, does not exist anymore. So they did, um, or someone did a rewritten version of the same thing. It's literally the same exact thing. There's no difference to it. 
It's just called Club Penguin rewritten. Just like Toontown. It's not as exciting. It's not as fun anymore. But it is something. I have an account on there now. I only played it one time. I only made an account so I can secure my username, Spring Sims. <laughs> and then I just did that. And I was like, oh, okay. My computer is broken. Oh, I'll fix it. Oh, we have work. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah. Uh. We have work today. Let's go to work. Oh, besties. Our carpool is a, uh, a helicopter in the middle of the street. Make it make sense because that's just, that's wild. That's wild. A whole helicopter in the middle of the street. This only happens when you're at level 10 of the business career, but it's ridiculous. Like why? Why is this necessary? Is he that important? He's no Don Lothario. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> uh, then Fortuno. Welcome in. Your bedroom walls are painted yellow. Best wall color. Yes, I agree. Although a lot of insects are attracted to attract it when I open the windows. Oh, I, cl I don't have any windows open of any kind. I just have the blinds to let in light. But never windows. I suffer in the summer, but I'm like, uh-uh. No, no, no. But I'm glad you have your walls painted yellow. They're really great. But I am doing good so far today. We are just playing The Sims Life Stories. We have a maid named Brooke. Poor Brooke having to clean this whole mansion by herself. But so far, so good. It's been a good morning. Good morning. The carpool was a concept. An interesting one. Along with the roofing. Could they have made the roofing a smidget smaller? Please. Because this is like the default height. I'm literally not kidding. The default height for The Sims 2 roofing is, I think, I think like 30 degrees. Like 30 degrees is this high. You can make it, or I think it's a little bit higher than that actually, but you can make it a smidge smaller. You don't need to have a, a nice peaked roof like this. It does not make this a mansion. Gotta fix that, but I can't because I can't build in this game until I'm done with the story. And Sil J, welcome in. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. They even have their own car for the maids, which I think is really cool. Their own logo and all, and they can drive. When the maids actually clean the house for once. Sometimes when I hired a maid in The Sims 4, they would just pick up one thing and says, I'm done for the day. That'll be 75,000 simoleons. I'm like, <laughs> are you sure? Because you, you only picked up a newspaper and, um... My whole kitchen's a mess, but okay, you, you do you, you do you. I'll just have my kids clean it for them, not pay them. I love when you play The Sims 2, it brings back so many memories, right? I really enjoy playing The Sims 2. It's kind of like my favorite thing to play on stream a lot, because one, not a lot of people play it, and two, it's just a therapeutic game. Also, who kicked over my trash can? I don't remember this. Did you, did you anyone see what happened? Someone kicked over my trash can. Was it the maid? Probably. I'm still tempted to get the Sims again. Do it. Do it. I dare you. I dare you. So let's find... Oh, who's calling? We're getting a phone call. We also have cell phones in this game that you can actually have to buy. Like in the regular Sims 2, if your Sim did not have a cell phone, they, they will use a house phone. But you could actually go out and buy one for yourself, which I think is really cool. Oh, it's Brittany from the e-dating website. Interesting. Working in Lurkin. Found you via Simsy. Well, Huckleberry, enjoy your lurk. Have fun lurking and working. <laughs> probably Samantha. Uh, yeah, probably Samantha. She, uh, yeah, we don't like Samantha. She's a little bit crazy. She's a little bit iffy. Um, and enjoy your lurk. Enjoy your lurk. And Hunter, welcome in. How are you? Oh, oh, oh. It's not. It says, hello. I saw your e-dating profile and I thought you were really... Wait. I saw your e-dating profile and I thought you really enjoyed Don Calamari's. It's one of my favorite restaurants as well. Would you like to meet me there tonight for dinner? Well, if you say so. Don Calamari sounds delightful. 
I have no idea who you are, but okay. Alexa Star. Oh yeah, sure. I like Don Calamari's tonight. What do you what did you say your name was? I'm Alexa. Alexa Star. Just came by Don's a little bit later. Just come just come by Don's a little bit later. I'll be there. I just love their coffee. Also, who are you, Candace? Do I know you? You're a teenager. Can I help you, Candace? <laughs> okay. Um, he tries to impress. He really did. He really did. And Alexa Star just hangs up on us without asking what our name is. She was like, he's like, my name's Vincent M And then she hangs up. Wait, who's expected to pay this? <laughs> who's expected to pay? That's the real question. That's the real question. I mean, just because, you know, Mr. Vincent Moore has 2.8 million simoleons doesn't mean he has to pay. Also, who's paying the coffee? If she buys the coffee and says, oh, no, Vincent will pay it. And like, um, are you sure? Mm, I don't know about that. Um, but let's wear this white tux. I think this would be really nice. Dress to impress would be a good one to wear. Yeah. I like that one. So we'll change into our formal wear. Yes, tux time. Ooh, fans look like a 007. <laughs> a little bit Alexis. <laughs> Ooh, to the woo. Okay, so I went, I went to a lot of formal events while I was off on a business trip. Oh, Alexis probably waiting for me at Don Calamari's by now. I should probably hurry up. Sir, it is 5 p.m., but okay, um, we'll call a taxi. She's an independent woman. She doesn't need no sin to pay for it. Exactly. Exactly. Man, that is an old timey house phone. <laughs> All the little buttons on the side makes me laugh. A little screen call. Man, if we had house phones in The Sims 4, that would be a dream come true. Things I would do, put, I would put house phones everywhere in my Sims home if we had house phones. So Don Calamari's, from the mountaintops to the riverbed, there's no finer dining in Bitville. Sounds like a, a world for my Sims. Sometimes you can catch Don entertaining their guests, but if you're lucky, he might flounder into the kitchen. Flounder? Okay. Okay, sure. Whatever. Sure. Was that still the deal in The Sims 2? Yeah, it was house phones. Um, we had house phones and, like, wall phones. We had two different types. The one that you just saw, like, this one over here is what we have originally, and then there's like more of like a high tech modern version house phone. And then your Sims have cell phones, but they're like the old Nokia phones. Like, you know, Nokia, that's what they're called. Or they're differently called something different in this game, but Ooh, old brick of a phone. Uh, last night you toured my shell and I was asleep, so you, you couldn't say it. But if you remember the backyard, place, placed the debug bridge. Yeah, I remember that one. If you place it in the basement and raise it up, uh, raise it up in the upper level, the Sims will be able to walk over it. Really? I'm going to screenshot that real quick. I did not know that. So put it in the basement and then raise it up to the upper level. That's actually a smart trick. I'm going to be using that next time. Thank you. Appreciate that. Because I found that very interesting. Um when you did that. So I was like, here's like, do Sims walk to this or not? Like, I'm not sure, but good to know. Here goes nothing. At least it, this is my favorite restaurant. I think that phone was even old back then. Oh, it was, it was. That's probably Alexa by the coffee bar. Hey, she looks cute. Alexa, star oh, 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 oh. I, I think, um, I think Alexa had, had a little bit too much to drink today. Um. Alexa, are you good? Hmm? Be bestie, uh, is she good? Is she? Is she good? Is she, she's shaking. She's having a little bit jitter moments today. You good, Alexa? You good? That's what I call a sugar high. And she's literally shaking. This is what happens when your Sims drink too much coffee in The Sims 2. They start to shake so much, it becomes ridiculous. Yeah, of course. 
Uh, then it's invisible to the Sims. Ah, okay. Okay, good to know. So we need to greet Alexa. Okay, we gotta greet her. Um, Alexa, hello. I'm gonna get up. Get up. There we go. Let's go ahead and greet Alexa Star. <laughs> the Sims had the best little details. It really did. I think that was probably like her fifth or a second cup or whatever. He says, my, hi, my name is blank. And then says the coffee at Don's is just fantastic. Almost as good as the Java at the Java hut. I just can't get enough. Join me for a cup. Ma'am, how many cups you got? Um, maybe BJ, you should probably cut her off. This is like her, maybe like 10th cup of coffee. Um, there's no limit apparently, but okay. <laughs> This is why I love The Sims 2. It's so unique and different. This is our first cup of coffee. 15 simoleons. Um, 15. Okay, if this was Alexa's 10th cup of coffee, she paid $150 for coffee. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. I know the owner. That's some really strong coffee. I need to head to the restroom so fast. Not his bladder going down. Oh my goodness. We also have we also had urinals in The Sims 2, which is pretty interesting. Ma'am, put the coffee down. This is not for you. She's one of those people that always cut cut you off when you try to speak. Yes. Alexa seems alright. Maybe this e-dating thing will work out. Um, let's hope. <laughs> but 150 simoleons for coffee. Um Samantha, are you? Um, what was Samantha doing there? <laughs> I'm nervous. She's going to poison me. She's going to poison me. Okay. An RPG welcome in. I know it's Wednesday when spring is alive early. Hello. Welcome in. Welcome in. Do you smell the food? I'm getting hungry. Why don't you go and get us seated? Oh my gosh, Alexa, okay. Sure, 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 whatever. Let's go get seated. Yeah. Samantha's trying to poison me. I dare, I, I swear she is. And what's funny, if you don't know the context, Samantha Hayden is technically our ex-girlfriend and she tried to marry us after three weeks of dating. You got a sandwich? Ooh, what kind of sandwich did you get? Anything interesting? Oh man, Alexa, this all looks so good. Why don't you be a gentleman and order a boat for the both of us? Oh, okay, sure. Order for all. There's so many options. Chili carne carne. I think we should probably get filet mignon. Filet mignon. My gosh, this makes me nervous. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's scary. Samantha Hayden is like the most scariest person. She ruined almost every single relationship we ever had. We basically rejected her proposal. And she literally said, you will rue the day. You will literally rue the day. <laughs> I'm like, okay, Samantha, whatever you say, madam. Whatever you say. Popeye, she can say, oh, that's right. That's what you said. Well, I hope you like it. Flame and yawn. Sims 2 food is definitely very unique and different. I never had filet mignon before, but it looks interesting. Thanks. Does this food taste a little funny? I'm feeling a little... Oh, she should have fell asleep. <laughs> she fell asleep and he's like, um, okay. Finally have a chance to introduce myself. My name is Vincent Moore. Nice to meet you, Alexa. <laughs> Rebecca, thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate it so, so much. Can we get some hype and some love in the chat, please? And thank you. I hope you enjoy the emotes, bestie. Girl, still shaking, man. Put the coffee down. And she got it and passed out. But at least we finally introduced ourselves, though. So, I mean, yeah. So that's nice. After all that coffee, something is wrong. A part of me was thinking Samantha probably put, like, sleeping pills or whatever in the food. I think it was Samantha. Alexa, uh, Alexa, are you okay? Alexa, please order filet mignon from Amazon. What happened? Did I just fall asleep with my food? 
I'm so embarrassed. I'm leaving. Oh my. <laughs> Alexa, wait. Why are you going? It's like, I'm out. Bye. <laughs> what is this buffoonery? I don't understand. We didn't even get two words in. Well, we did introduce ourselves, but it was like literally just a here, there, and bye. Mr. Moore, I'm so sorry that your experience at Don Calamari's has, been, has not been as an enjoyable one. Please accept this one-of-a-kind express machine as a gift to you. Thanks, Don. Lothario, maybe? The food was great as always. I'm not sure what happened. One minute we were talking, and then she was fast asleep. I'll be seeing you, Don. I'm headed home. Talk about speed dating. I've never seen it. <laughs> speed dating. And what's even cooler, though, is that we got a memory. Well, we have a memory of meeting Don Calamari and also Manuel, Orlando, BJ, and also the first date with Alexa. I remember the butterflies in my cynic when we first went out. At least butterflies are better than not. Sir, she asked you out, not you asking her out. She was there for five minutes and left. She left. And then we went on a date one time with, with Sasha, who just wanted us for our money. And then we had a bunch of bad memories throughout the years, I would say. I mean, we kissed Samantha. We made out with Samantha. We went out with Naomi. Um, first date with Naomi. Lost friends with Naomi because Samantha ruined our date with Naomi for our first date. It was very sad, honestly. Vincent Moore has very bad luck with love. <laughs> and, uh, uh, let's see. Sexy Channy, welcome in. How are you doing today? And you miss playing this game? I have to say this game is top tier. I would say, even though it's not the full-blown Sims 2, I still enjoy it because there is a story behind it. And I love storytelling to a T. So this gives me, like, the in-between Sims 2 and storytelling. But welcome in, though. I want to go home. Samantha fell asleep on our date. Maybe I should have a cup of coffee. Let's drink some more coffee. To keep our jitters alive. 30 simoleons on coffee already. Love that for us. <laughs> He's confused. I'm like, did I just have a date for five minutes? Yes, I did. But she really didn't like espresso. So I probably should send it, send it to her. I don't even remember if I can actually give a sim a gift in The Sims 2. I think I can, but I don't remember. Life stories and castaway stories with your thing. I, you know what? I actually have uh, castaway stories on a CD. I have the old disc of The Sims 2 castaway stories and everything. See? I got the manual and all. We're going to be playing this one next after life stories in the future. So I'm looking forward to it. It says, wow, this express machine is pretty nice. That Don is all right. I'm sure it's sure be nice to have a home again, to be home again, though. This e-dating thing just isn't working out. I'll just have to try something else tomorrow. Sir, go out and about and do what you did last time with Naomi. Ask for their number. Basically saying, you lost your number. Can I have yours? You know what's funny about Vincent? He literally asked Naomi, who was a barista, saying, um, I lost my number. Can I have yours? Using that line, like, sir, no. This is chapter five. Uh, I have said that Alexa was a sophisticated lady until she fell asleep in her meal at Don Calamari's. At least I got a free express machine from the restaurant, but I really think that, I really think Alexa needs it more than I do. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if Naomi has a coffee machine at her own home. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Possibly. Eh. So like maybe Alexa needs it more than I do, but I have no idea. But that is a gigantic high-end coffee machine or espresso maker. And we also have a grill. MPK Patricia, welcome in. How are you? Uh, you moved several times, and I really wish I had more. I had been more proactive with my, about my old Sims games, CDs, and DVDs. I end up keeping everything because I'm paranoid. As ever, I'm like, I must have everything. I even bought an external, like, CD drive so the games would work on my computer. And, uh, Crystal, welcome in. You played The Sims 2 a long time ago, and I don't remember 
it having all the Steph storyline and stuff. This is actually a spinoff. This is a spinoff of The Sims 2. So it came out, um, I think, like midway of The Sims 2 franchise. So I think it came out in 2005. I did see the chairs, but the thing is, that's not my style of chair. The chairs do look nice, but they're not my style that I would buy myself. It looks uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, but that's just me, though. I will f they probably would fit on an island, probably. Uh, you saw the Sims 2 disc version, but I don't have a disc drive anymore. You can always buy an external one, you know. External always keeps it better. Uh, even ties into the kitchen. What a, t what a dog will give, right? Don Calamari is so nice. He's so nice. Um, but I do use mods in my regular Sims 2 game, Crystal, though. So, occasionally I'll play, like, the regular Sims 2 with a few mods here and there. Like, gameplay mods for, like, school, dating, anniversaries, etc. But this one doesn't really allow mods in the Sims Life stories. Um, but it's really, really good, though. I, I recommend if you can find it anywhere, like, on eBay... I recommend playing it. And it never gets old because for me, what I've learned is that I have played this game several times. But the thing is, I always learn something new every time I play it. See, and now you're able to keep the games going. Yes. I got to keep the community alive with these old games. You know, I got to find a way to actually play Herbs and Sims Busting Out on stream. Because those two games are the only games that I do don't have anymore even though i do have a ps2 i gotta figure out a way to make it work because i need it it kind of does fit the island vibe yeah it gives me island living vibes possibly asleep in my asleep in her food am i cursed every time i leave the, the house something bad happens it's time to just stay home for once yeah um i don't leave my house for like two weeks or four weeks at a time outside scary Gian Calamari isn't that character from One Piece as well. I'm going to say yes, but I don't know. I feel like it is, but also I haven't seen One Piece in a very long time. I haven't watched the anime in, a, in forever. That was a good show. I wish it continued. You played Busting Out and it was very fun. It was so much fun playing Busting Out growing up. I don't remember if it was Busting Out or the regular Sims 1. But every time that my Sim would like have an F in school, they would get sent to military school. It might have been Busting Out, I'm pretty sure. Where, yeah, if your kid had an F in school, they would be sent to military school. I think. You know what they should really do? They should be really remastered the herbs. I would love a remaster of the herbs in SimCity. I played that weasel game like it was nothing. I played it religiously. Every single day I could, I would play it. And I was rich in that game too. I was a rich Sim in herbs. Let's get some cereal for our foods before we go to work today. Uh, I stopped watching after. I got into some fillers. Easily skippable though now. Yeah. I don't watch too many animes nowadays anymore. Um, the only anime that I'm re-watching at the moment is Zatch Bell. The Sims version of Busting Out was PS2. For, for Busting Out? Mm, I think so. I think it was... P well, yeah, no, it was PS2 and I think it was also on the Game Boy... And maybe Xbox at one point. Yeah. You never did much with kids and busting out. Neither did I. I mean, I'm I'm a family game player through and through. I love legacies. I love creating families in The Sims. But I can never keep this, like the kids to like do their homework in, in busting out ever. So I just kind of gave up. But that's where The Sims 2 was like, yeah, this game is for me. I gotta keep an eye on my trash can. Oh, is this a new one? Oh no, Brooke is still here, good. GameCube, oh. See, I never owned a GameCube before. I had the Xbox 360, 
and PS2 and PS1, but never a GameCube. I wish I... I wish I did. I kind of want to rebuy the GameCube and just see what I can do with it. I know I could buy an old Elgato capture card to get the old systems to work on my computer. But that's a lot of, you know, trying out new things to fix. I'm sure there's tutorials out there for to do that stuff. You like leveling up? Oh, fancy. Leveling up. Was that in the GameCube? Because I like getting all the achievements on Xbox. That was my jam. That was my favorite thing. I was going to serve some grilled cheese sandwiches. Maybe I can head off. Wait, maybe I can head off some of these dating disasters by staying home today. That seems a lot safer. Greg, what are you doing here? Can I help you, Greg? Vincent, if you're going to hang around the house today, you should at least throw a party. I talked to Naomi about the, at the bowling alley yesterday, and I think she might be willing to give you another shot. Oh, really? You had two in your house growing up? Lucky. You should invite over Alexa as well, dude. I think she might get the hots for your old pal, Greg. Plus, you kind of owe me one since I talked to Naomi for you. I didn't ask you. To talk to Naomi, Naomi for me, but you know what? You do you, Greg. You do you. I guess we're throwing a party. How do I wait? Oh, invite over Alexa and then Naomi. Okay, let's call up a sim. You don't even need an Elgato capture card. I have a KKF capture card and a PCAT for a GameCube. Really? I don't know you could do that. Uh, Naomi. Yes. Invite her over. Good to know. KKF capture card. Can you send me the links for that? Or send one of my mods the link and then they can send it to me if you want to. That would be great. And busting out, you easily, you essentially train to get levels for skills and busting out. Uh, I think I was reading an exercise in painting or something like that. Oh, see, I kind of forgot that was a, that you could do all that stuff in busting out. Like, I barely, like, vaguely remember busting out playing it. Because I really, like, think there's so many things that I haven't played through in The Sims 2. When I was younger, that I'm still discovering now today. You made me want to get a grilled cheese. Very good. Grilled cheese. We even we didn't even finish making our grilled cheese yet. Let's finish it. Put three sticks of cheese, some vinaigrette or whatever, or veggie mites, some butter, write it on there. Another piece of bread. Put it on the grill and cook it. You need to play more. You should. You should play it more, Dab. Enjoy the fun activities. Have the drama. You must have drama. But it looks like everyone is jumping into the pool. Dive. Hey, Naomi. Hey, Alexa. I want to flirt with you. Hit on. Hit on Naomi. Hit Naomi. <laughs> That's the only Sims game I've I had personally. Mm. I kind of also want to play... Um, well, there was one time we played The Sims 1 on stream one time. Well, a couple of times. But I tell you, Sims 1 is so chaotic that I can only play it in spurts. No butter. No butter allowed. No butter allowed. Did I, did I flirt with Naomi? Did I do it? Get off the phone. Oh, wow. Wait, why? How? Okay, what in the world? How is Alexa still jittering? She said, let me just have a cup of coffee before I come over here. Like, okay, and <laughs> Alexa's still jittering. She said, I need another cup of coffee to stay awake. Because last time I fell asleep with my food and it was just a, a tragic mess. Like, okay, Alexa, do what you please. Do what you want. <laughs> Why is she in our house? We had to invite her over for a party because apparently Greg 
wanted to start dating Alexa, apparently. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Greg says, I need a relationship too. Let's then invite these two lovely ladies to swim. Engagement. Naomi, you want to get engaged right near, right now? I'll do it. I've known you for three days. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> the swimsuits in the Sims 2 are really interesting, I would say. They were really nice looking. Even the pool water looks nice. <gasps> Ooh, a cannonball. Nice. Now all we got to do is wait. Oh, hello. Oh. How did she get in my house? We can't forget about our boy Greg. Right, 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 right. This is definitely a, a sick house. One bedroom, one bathroom, a lot of open... Sp well, technically, it is one bedroom, two bathrooms. You got two bathrooms. But it's definitely very spacious and very nice looking. Thank you, Crystal. Also, what is Samantha Hayden doing here? Can I help you, ma'am? Do you see this buffoonery? Do you... She's sabotaging my cereal. Are you kidding me? This party needs some ambiance. Let's put on some music and dance. Okay, whatever you say. And then she just walks out like it's nothing. <laughs> I seriously hate Samantha so much. What in the world? Got some music playing and then it breaks. Great. She's really obsessed with me. That's called fan behavior. Ma'am, get a new hobby. I can't let this, I can't let a broken stereo room my such a stellar party. Sir, you got three people here with no music. You call this a stellar party? Where did I put my fix it hat? Fix it Felix, is that you? Fix it Felix, is that you? You need some guard dogs and some cameras. Sadly in The Sims 2, there were no dogs. Well, in Sims Life Stories, to be exact, there wasn't. But I wish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the Sims 2, you actually see a skeleton? What is this? You see the brittle bones of a Sim when they get electrocuted. <laughs> uh, you, always, uh, you always help me make sure uh, you hit the FDH capture when you play. It will be blue or no signal. Yes. I always got to fix it. I always make sure the audio is working input and output. <laughs> it's a debug outfit too. <laughs> we scorched. We scorched. Not my hair looking like a wild mammoth. I need a shower. Feeling jolted. <laughs> He's electric now. Electric Felix. Electrified. <laughs> and he just magically has his hair redone. Okay. Okay, sure. What, whatever you say, um, Vincent. AKA Fix It Felix. Do as you please. Change your hairstyle in your shower. Magically wears new clothes. Because Sims. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope I didn't kill the party mood by getting fried like that. Well, mmm. Maybe. Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. I don't know. Greg, can I help you? I saw Samantha here. Vince, she must have sabotaged your stereo earlier. I wonder what else she's up to. Samantha must have been the one who put the girl in the park up to flirting with me. I mean, maybe. Also, I don't know why Greg didn't say anything. If he saw Samantha earlier, he could have said something. But casually, he was like, I'm just going to swim in the pool. It's fine. Oh, hey, Alexa. You good? Ooh. Well, the stereo is still broken. I know. I'll serenade Naomi. That's a lot better than the stereo. Uh, serenading Naomi? Are you sure about that, buddy, buckaroo? Are you sure about that? You, you really want to serenade Naomi? Okay, whatever you say, um, buddy old pal. Do as you please. Do what you won't. I'm not stopping you. 
Naomi, I want to sing to you with my luxurious voice of the angels. Wait a minute. That was icky. Serenading in The Sims 2 was just quite interesting. It's been fun, but I have a big day tomorrow. I should wind this party down so I can get some sleep. Sir, it's only been a couple days. What's happening? Is there supposed to be game volume for us or no? No, there was supposed to be. I had turned it off randomly. <laughs> I forgot I had turned off the audio for the game. <laughs> And I didn't turn it up last time. Sorry. Oh, wow. I was playing Sims 2 music in the background. Alexa, you, you want to go home? I'm going to say goodbye to Alexa. She can go home. Let's go and hug. Leap into arms. Bye, Alexa. Stop drinking that coffee. Now you're here? Okay. Mm. Let's see. I'm going to have everyone go home. Go home, everyone. Naomi, are you good? Go home. This is my house. I want to sleep. Who's calling me now? Sherman. Hey, Vincent. Sherman here. I've been up. I have obtained evidence that Samantha is trying to push Johnny into a quick wedding. We've been down this road before. We've been down this road before of a quick sh shotgun wedding. Apparently, she wants a bit tech as much as she wanted JCN. So she's a gold digger and she wants to be a multimillionaire by stealing through marriage. I can't believe this. <laughs> Greg Chomsky. <laughs> you Wally Tan, welcome in. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. Oh, delivery? A package from who? Delivery! Hey, Darren. Here's your package, sir. Enjoy! Okay, so after the pool party, it's clear that I'm, I'm all wet when it comes to dating. My stereo imploded and I got a bad electric shock when trying to fix it. The party never recovered after, even though I had smoke coming up, coming up from top of my head. Saturday Naomi was fun, though. I'll have to try something like that again. Um, no, no. That's fine. You no. Know. You woke up from a nap. How was your nap? Hopefully it was good. Hopefully your nap was quite swell. But what did we get? Oh, did we get a new bar? <gasps> Ooh, we got a new bar. Oh, that's fancy. That's a nice bar. Nice blender. Nice drinks. Very good. Very good. I would say dried up, actually. I would say I was dried up. But hey, Vincent isn't really the best when it comes to love. <laughs> he isn't the best when it comes to love in this game. He's quite sad. You could say dating has been an electric experience. <laughs> it's been very electric for sure in many different ways. It was. It was a three-hour nap. I don't know how to take a nap. I wish I knew, but I always don't know how to. Date, date, party, electrocution. I'm definitely going to need some time to myself. So you want me time? What's that? I need to have a nap one of these days. My naps end up being like eight hour long naps or maybe five hour long naps, depending if I don't have any work afterwards. Does it give you the option? Or the option to what? Let's see, this is day off day, good. No work for him. He's quite bad, his environment is just awful. Meditate. You should meditate because you like to doing too much. <laughs> oh, you like the bed. You can choose different options. Oh, yeah. Well, 
right now, all we can really do, since Vincent's not tired anymore, he can, there's three options, sleep, make bed, and then relax. I know that in The Sims 2, if your Sims are relaxed on the bed, that's how they woohoo. <laughs> I think the old Sims games, you just watch the clock and force them to get up. Yeah. There is an option to have the alarm clock set as work. Like if you work in the morning, your alarm clock will go off an hour before, two, I think an hour before your carpool shows up, I believe. Which I think we should do that now since we're here. Set for work. There we go. It's been a minute since I've done all of this though. All clean, thank you, Brooke. Appreciate it. You have nothing to be happy. Are you serious? My toilet is clogged. Not an unclogged toilet, not today. You can't trust alarms. That girl's gonna make you miss work. True. That's nasty. <laughs> Your Sims actually use a plunger. That thing's splashing in his face, sir. Wear a mask. That's nasty. <laughs> the toilet's still clogged and everything. Unclog the toilet. Do it again. Do it again. Clean. <laughs> Thank you. Jeez Louise. <laughs> so it was clogged for days on end. He doesn't flush his toilet, apparently. And that's just sad. She's gonna break my alarm. Luckily, this time around, I do have a security alarm, but I wish I had the option to lock my doors. But in this story mode, I cannot lock my doors. So anyone can walk in. He's paid, he needs a maid. I mean, he does have a maid, but the maid was like, no, I'm good, I'm fine. I'll do it tomorrow. We're like, okay. Flush the toilet, sir. Thank you. Oh, forgot to mention, Vincent is a Gemini. So, youthful and lively, many think, many think Geminis have enough energy for two. Also energized by conversation, it isn't surprising to find them bouncing from one topic to the next at parties. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> She's dying. Let's, oh, we need to repair. Wait, we don't. No, 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 no. We need to call a repair person because the last time we did that, we got electrocuted. No, no, stop, stop. Stop doing that. Oh. I live away from home and I have no choice to but to have my alarm wake me up. Oh, no. I need to have my alarm wake me up or I will not wake up. A nanny. We don't got no kids. Let's hire a repair person. Sherman's here. I'll chat with him and find out what's going on about Samantha's wedding. I like how in The Sims 2, if your Sims are going to repair something, they'll actually turn the computer around, but then also they'll like move their TV around to fix the back of it. That's because the pool, I think. I think so. Sherman. Sherman Bogle. Hello, Sherman. Uh, P. Sherman something 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 Sydney. I couldn't think of the of the address. It's like P. Sherman something Sydney. And that's all I know. It's just finding Nemo. You forget about those details. So do I sometimes. Oh, P. Sherman 42 Wallaby Wallaby. Walla Bay Way, Sydney. There we go. There we go. Sherman invented that. Vincent, I've obtained evidence to index Samantha has established herself as a persona non garta via interface with your dating both Naomi and Alexa. She's interfering with my dating life, ma'am. That is fan behavior. You need to get a new hobby. Chat with Sherman some more. Sherman. Wallaby. You can eat food later. <laughs> she messed with my cereal. Thanks for telling me, Sherman. Thanks. 
This maid's gonna clean up so much stuff. All he eats is grilled cheese. I wonder what Naomi is up to. I'll give her a call. Calling your love of your life, Naomi? Oh, Naomi, hi. <laughs> What's going on, Naomi? When when can we see each other again? How about tomorrow after I get off of work? How about the Bolly Star Bollywood Star Lanes again? Or sounds? Sounds great, I'll be there. Ooh, tomorrow we got a date. Getting back with getting back into Naomi's good graces has been somewhat stressful. I should just hang out at home tonight, but and put on my PJs and relax. So today's all about um it's a me day for, for Vincent. Sometimes I look at, at Sims from earlier games and I'm like, huh. They really are kind of ugly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like the Sims, okay, the Sims 3 Sims, they're just potatoes. They're just potatoes, that's all they are. Really enjoying that grilled cheese, Vincent? Oh, he's really enjoying that grilled cheese. Ooh. Watching your Sims eat is so weird. <laughs> anyway, um... But yeah, the Sims 3 Sims are were quite interesting in my opinion. I feel like they just had a, a potato-like essence to them. Not unless you actually like like maneuvered their facial features and cast, but I was like, yo, this is crazy. Here in a cooking point, cooking grilled cheese. Look at him go. Now he's at level three and cooking. So now all he can make for dinner. Oh, he can now make spaghetti. Well, no, he could make that before. I think something that's new is might be mac and cheese. Yeah, I think the new thing that we he just got was mac and cheese. He can make gelatin for dessert. That's nice. Not bad. What's what next? A cooking point for pouring cereal? I mean, whatever gets you high, whatever gets you far in life. Whatever gets you a new point in your skills. It's a nice hot dog. I mean, technically, your Sims could. Wait. Does he not? Oh, no, he does. I was like, does he not have a bookcase? So in the regular Sims 2, your Sims could study a bunch of things, like array of things, like cooking, mechanical, cleaning, um, and a few other things, too, like, um, I think parenting, long life happiness, anger management, and, like, Two other things that I can't remember, but in the regular Sims 2, you could like study way more stuff. And I thought it was so unique that you could do that stuff. Study parenting from a book. You ultimately know everything about babies and how to take care of them. I love how the Sims 2 Sims look. Unpopular opinion. Oh, I love how they look. They're very different. No Sim looks the same, except he looks like Don Lothario. I'm okay with that. But I think that Sims 2 Sims definitely have a different quality quality to them whereas the sims three sims they have really good facial expressions i would say this game aged pretty well it seems like it has it has oh wait did the repairman fix our stuff uh, wait a minute hold up hold up wait a, wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute we hired a repair person and they never showed up. Unacceptable. Oh wait, we did. Oh, we called them. Who's calling me now? I did hire a repair person, they'll come tomorrow. That's right. If I sabotage your stereo, maybe you could have electrocuted her first. True, true. That could have worked. I could go for a round of video games. Who's calling me? Brittany? Brittany, I met you at the at the bowling alley two days ago. And you're suddenly interested in me? Okay. I want to wear my PGs first. Change into PJs. Hang up on Brittany Cho. Or Brittany NG. And then play some video games. SSX3. I don't like the Sims 3 Sims. Sims 4 are nice, but I wasn't a fan of the graphic style when it first came out. The Sims 4 graphics, when it first came out, it was definitely, definitely different. I remember when they updated the lighting in the Sims 4, and I was very happy about that. 
Um, so I wasn't a big fan of the Sims 3 graphics, so that's why I played more of the Sims 2 than anything. Hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm being bullied by the E key. Help. Help. SSX3. I played this game before when I was younger. Your Sims even could buy video games at the store. I think they could play a Sims 3 and then like another game. I should practice my romance skills in the mirror before meeting up with Naomi tomorrow. Okay, kissing in front of the mirror, I guess. Practice some romance. You're smelly, but okay. Do they make them anymore though? Because I know that they're making, um, what in the world? You know, uh, um, I know that they're making the, the uh, Tony Hawk game that I do know. That was just icky. Uh, cringe. But yeah, that's a real video game. So EA would put like their... Like, yeah, e the Sims team would put EA games in the Sims game. So like your Sims could play Sims themselves if they wanted to. Which I thought was like really cool. Here's your eco mine leather sofa you won it on Simbe. Sherman, why are you still here? I thought Sherman left. But also, why do I have an e mine leather sofa? Of all things. Oh my gosh, I did not order this. It's over here. That is a nice sofa, though. I do like it. Put this sofa back, though. Replace this one with this one. Now that's a nice sofa. Yeah, they had Spore and I think FIFA in there too. I think so. I know that with The Sims 2, they would watch Sims 2, like movies and video, like TV shows on The Sims 2. Sims 3 would watch Sims 2 stuff. And then Sims 4 would watch Sims 3 stuff. And I think some Sims 4. Yes, you can all place things in The Sims 3. Yes. You just hold down your alt key. But yes, you can. Chapter 7. So Samantha has been interfering with my post-her dating days. I wonder if she'll be meddling in the date I have with Naomi tomorrow. Samantha isn't doing a very good job at convincing me I made a mistake when I broke up with her. Yeah, she really isn't. She said I'll rue the day. I don't see the ruin. I do not see the ruin. <laughs> But I think in order to alt place in The Sims 3, you would have to turn... Well, you could do it anyway. But to, like, freely put it anywhere in The Sims 3, you would need to turn on the move objects cheat. So it doesn't have, like, that red thing saying, you can't place it here. Type of interaction. There we go. Cleaning is done for the day. There we go. You love The Sims 2 movies? I love The Sims 2 movies as well. I used to make them all the time when I was in high school. But then I stopped because I got too busy. Mine cat. <laughs> Mine. Cat for the win. <laughs> we are very hungry. And we need to also go to the bathroom. We also need to take a shower as well because we're very smelly. It's only 2 a.m. I mean, Sherman's still here. He could leave at any time. You enjoy my hot tub, Sherman? Do you, would you like to leave my home? Okay. Isn't that one about the chicken or something? I think so. <laughs> they even had, like, newscasting. No, it is whom... Shall be the ruining. Yeah, Samantha will be the ruining. You'll rue the day. You'll rue it, I swear it. <laughs> You'll rue the day and poo. <laughs> Welcome back, Daff Daff. Sherman, you can leave. Goodbye, Sherman. And my shower is broken. Love that for me. I can't believe how late it is. I should probably get home. Yeah, it's 4 a.m. in the morning, Sherman. We have work. 
my shower's broken and it continues to be broken with water all over the floor. Fix it, please. He's like, no, I'll do it later. He's like, no, 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 I'm good. I'm fine. It's whatever. <laughs> but welcome, welcome in, Daff Daff. You will rue the day, Samantha Hayden. We've only been dating for three weeks and you wanted to marry me after three weeks, even though I was gone for two of those weeks. But technically, we've only been dating for one week. You want to get married and just take all my money? Oh, speaking of taking all the money, I was playing BitLife like a couple days ago on my phone and I kid you not, I am so, I don't know why I did this, but I eloped in BitLife and I never eloped in BitLife. My, one of the characters in BitLife divorced me and then took all of my money. I had $38 million, $38 million in BitLife for that cur current character. They eloped at like at 19 and then they got divorced around like I think when they were maybe 30 or whatever took all their money I tried to get all my money back it did not work at any kind I lost everything the house the cars I even went to jail and then uh, you know I had kids of course so luckily we still had a lot of money with like our family wealth after like 3,000 years so I was like, I was struggling. I was struggling. I was in debt. I went back to school. Oh gosh, turn this off. I was in debt from like college, the house loans, the car loans. Turn this off. Thank you. Jeez Louise. But it was, it was awful. It was awful. <laughs> it's ridiculous. On how many years I spent in my bit life life, and that's never happened to me before. I'm never eloping ever again. Ever. Never elope in bit life. It'll just be tragic. Because those characters will swoop all your money up in a heartbeat. It would be nice if there was a repair man who actually did the job right. Oh, now you want to show up? We left our TV on all night. Turn this off. <laughs> Good morning, Bahunt. How are you doing today? This is so cool. Michael has like tools and everything. They fix the computer. This is like so, this is why I love The Sims 2. They actually like repair things with the TV and everything. That is just so cool. Everything seems to be Good work in order. See you next time. Thank you. Brooke is here for their daily dose of working for us. But today is a day where we can finally go on a date with Naomi on a Sunday. I'm so excited. And he made pancakes this time for breakfast. That's tasty. You don't remember the computer? That's only in The Sims Life Stories. I've noticed there's a lot of like wallpapers, windows, objects. In the Sims Life Stories, it's not in the regular Sims 2. Like, this Express Machines, that's not in the regular game. This is usually the one that you'll see. Did you just laugh at me for burping? Okay. <laughs> Maid is alive! I thought she was, like, gone. Are you smelly, sir? Oh, he's just low on social. He's lonely. He's like, I'm all alone. <laughs> That's what they do too. And they, they tend to smell it, which I find funny. <laughs> just getting ready for the day. I'm doing really good today. Thank you for asking, Bahunts. I've honestly just been, been chilling for the most part of the day, actually. Just trying to get things in order for Vincent because he's struggling. But I've also been deciding, like, what I want to do after the stream, you know? That's good. And surprisingly enough, I woke up at 8.30 this morning and actually got out of bed for once. I'm like, I'm like, you pig. <laughs> oh, Brittany, hello. Get out of our bed. Luckily, with Vincent, his personality is a Gemini. He's more on the sloppier side. He's a little bit more outgoing, active, but he's very serious. And kind of nice, but a little bit grouchy. 
Stop crying about him. Talk to Brittany. Talk to Brittany. Talk to Brittany. But I think it's like really cool that based on their personality is how they act in the game and two other Sims. Oh no, but Hans, you should have been here earlier. Everyone in chat was saying that they were like getting up at 6.30, like 5 a.m. And like, uh, uh, that's no way. But no, you should have been here earlier. People were saying five o'clock, six o'clock, seven. I'm like, not in this lifetime, not for me. Can't do that. Sorry, no sorry. <laughs> I was baffled. 8.30 is late for you, really? I guess for me, I no longer have school anymore, so it doesn't affect me as much. What are you thinking about Samantha Hayden? Okay. But when's our date? I can't wait to go on a date with Naomi. I think I'm even a little bit nervous. I think so. Goodbye, Brittany. Let's go to make our... Actually, let's go make our bed. We're going to change into our formal wear. You guys and some early birds. I woke up at 80, 40, 8.45 the earliest. Really? You're our normal people hours? <laughs> Me. I strive to at least get up at 8 o'clock. 8.30 at the most. Just because I want to be able to kind of get started with my day. So I'm not losing like hours, you know? Because like when it's like 9 o'clock, I feel like it's too late for my day to start. Oh, we don't have the other mirror where we can get our other stuff. Oh. I know we can brush our teeth, but I don't think we have the right one. It's all good. But we're going to gussy up a little bit. Gussy up a little bit, sir. Take a little shower. Change to your formal wear. We should be having our date very soon with Naomi today, I think. No? Is it Monday? I guess our date is on Monday. Beware the early birds, they scare me. The last time I actually got up early was for show choir, and that was it. Oh, he got another cooking point. Nice, level four. You can still make the same stuff. Okay, so we're going nowhere with our cooking adventures. But he's making a TV dinner. That looks appetizing. Are those carrots or tater tots? I think those are tater tots, peas, and Salisbury steak. But it also looks like carrots. But you do you. Clean up your mess, sir. You're kind of sloppy. But what else can he do around here? You can't do much. You can do very little. I have him worked out for a little bit. And he just sleeps. Oh, you think those are little carrots? Oh. I mean, they do look like carrots sometimes. Carrots. Tater tots. I had french fries last night. I could have had tater tots, but, you know... What can you do? Let's make, let's do some crossword. Keep our minds sharp. Keep your mind sharp, Vincent Moore. Do some crossword puzzles. You know, I kind of miss newspapers in The Sims 4. It's all the above carrot tater tots. I mean, technically there are sweet potato fries and sweet potato tater tots. So I wouldn't be surprised for like carrot tater tots, to be honest. As long as they taste good and barbecue sauce, I'm fine. If I can use barbecue sauce on my tater tots that are like carrot flavor, I'll eat them. I will eat them. Oh. Oh, look at him go. He's so good. I miss, like, this type of guitar in The Sims. I want to have bands in The Sims 4. Good thing he does not have neighbors. Because I would be like, turn that racket off. <laughs> turn that racket off, mister. 
I'm trying to sleep. I have work at 6 a.m. Wait. What? Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is our sink still running? Our bill's gonna be so high. But it's okay. We still have eight point well, no, we have we still have two point eight million simoleons anyway. We barely made a dent. We spent like a thousand simoleons on a mirror. It's fine. <laughs> but that's a glitch. You know what's at what you know what else are, what else is a glitch? This game is so old. I see unfinished wallpaper. Not one here. And also over here. Two unfinished wallpapers in this game. It's been out for years. I never noticed this and it makes me want to scream. So I'm like, why? <laughs> Why? I can't handle it. And you know what's even bad? I can't change it. I can't fix it until I finish the story. In story mode, they don't allow you to go into build mode and manipulate the build at all. Because, if you know, it works with the story, so you can't change anything. But once you are done with the complete story, you can do whatever you want. Well, that's going to be the first thing I fix. Because Lordy Lou. Oh, gosh, she's calling me. Who's calling me? Hello? Hello? Can't be worse in the house without the toilet. No, true, true, you are correct. Wait, Vincent, I'm calling to update you on the status of the Sim Nights, SimStat 9000 communication satellite. Jeez Louise. Certainly orbiting overhead. We have realigned the central gyroscopic compressor after the minor refactoring calculations. So many big words. Or that one reg icon. Oh, the one from City Living, that one. I didn't know if it was custom content or it was just my game, but apparently everyone has that. Thanks, Sherman. Uh, that's great, Sherman. Keep me updated on those compressors. And that SimStat is going to take GigaRadar computer networks to the next level. JCN is going to the next level, baby. We're going to be richer than rich. We're going to have... A full-blown three million simoleons to our name. To celebrate, we should make some espressos to celebrate for us. Oh, the maid's here. Hi, Brittany. Wait, no. Brooke, sorry. Brooke. That's her name. Brooke. But yeah. Sims 2 and their glitches. I even remember the, the baby glitch. That was a scary glitch. Let's also actually wash our hands so we can get rid of that thing too. Drink your espresso. 31 simoleons, not bad. That's like cheaper than two coffees. There we go. And it's still running, but it's no longer running water anymore. Good. You know what I never understood? The baby on the barbecue. It was a mod. It was a mod that we that someone created in The Sims 2. And it was the most horrifying thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Putting your baby on the grill? No, 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 no. That's just horrifying. And Julie, thank you for the pasta check. Appreciate it. People do be slouching sometimes. I feel a whole lot better. I can actually breathe better. I can breathe better. But when's our date with Naomi today? Oh, we're getting a phone call. Must be Naomi. Mm -hmm. Nope, it's Brittany and G calling again. Why are you so obsessed with me? <laughs> Alexa, please play Obsessed by Mariah Carey. Because that's what Brittany and Samantha are doing. Being obsessed with Vincent Moore. Like, which one of us twisted 2,000 kids decided that'd be funny? A lot. So many. I wasn't that crazy. I was like, I'm just gonna deal with my family gameplay and go about my day. Like, the most generations I've ever had in The Sims 2 was, I think, four or, f four or five generations in The Sims 2 was what I had. And I really enjoyed my family gameplay. 
Naomi should be getting off of work right about right now. I should make my way to the Star Bollywood Star Lane soon. Yes. But let's first take a shower and go to the bath and repeat ourselves. And we'll head to the lovely bowling alley today. I saw that a long time ago and I'm like, I, should I laugh or be terrified or both? I was terrified. Someone made a mod for that in The Sims 4. And I'm like, no, thank you. I'm good. I'm good. Taxis. Bye. <laughs> I miss taxis in The Sims. In The Sims. However, in this time around, though, in The Sims... Well, in The Sims 2, it doesn't actually cost your Sims money to take the, uh, the taxi to anywhere. But it should cost you money. I was both because I laughed in horror movies. So did I. It looks like Naomi is inside reading. I'll go talk to her and see if we see if we share some of the same interests. I don't think you do, but okay. <gasps> Magazines. Besties. I see Bella Goth. Bella Goth is on the magazine. She must be famous or she's missing. Yikes. Read about food, travel, and weather. Um, no, no, I'm good. Let's talk to Naomi. Um, hi, Naomi, how you doing? <laughs> Both. I want to be able to pay when I, when I take a taxi to somewhere. Caress the cheek. Oh, she said, I don't think so. But we have to share interests with Naomi, though, first and foremost. Sister Bella Goth from The Sims Evil. I know her. She's been missing for years. We found her. <laughs> so I like shopping and like shoes. Like, oh, really? Wow. I think I like shoes, too. Shoes are really fun to wear. Keeps my feet from being stinky and stuff and uncomfy. Tell me why I thought this was Samantha for a split second, but it's Erica. Erica Grunstorm. You like makeup? Oh, I need to know. So Vincent's turn on and turns off. So he loves, he's turned on by fitness and black hair, but he doesn't like stink. That's his chemistry system. What he likes and doesn't, he doesn't like. Which is very interesting. He loves politics, food, work, paranormal and travel and fashion a lot for his interests which i think is like really helpful to kind of access him like what they're most interested in reading the most and like what they're going to talk about the most helps them uh tatter skinny welcome in how are you doing today welcome welcome and uh mackie wait Mac, Mackie, welcome in. How are you doing? I hope you're doing good today. If you're popping in for the first time, we are playing the Sims Life Stories. Now, this is a spinoff series of The Sims 2. So this is like basically Sims 2, but with a story mode. Remember that first time we met? I think I owe you a cup of coffee. Sure I do. That reminds me. Did you ever find your lost phone number? <laughs> Not Vincent Moore using the line saying, I lost your, I lost my number. Can I have yours? Lying to us, somebody that you just met? No. You're doing well. I'm so glad you're doing well today. Welcome, welcome. I honestly am seriously obsessed with The Sims 2. It's like one of my ultimate favorite games. Wait, what? Making a... Making a coolia a dice? Making a coolia a dice? Interesting. I don't know what that means. But it sounds something. Whoa, hold up. Are you thinking about babies, Naomi? Ma'am, we just met. <laughs> What's with these Sims? Have you ever played the Sims Life Stories, uh, Tattered Skinny? I would love to know. Naomi, I know you're pretty good at my Shino, but do you think you can handle my dart skills? Dodging the question, I see. 
handle your skills? I work here. You're going down, Vincent. Naomi is confident today at darts. Darts. Oh, she's over here. She's over here. Oh, uh, the dart board. And machines, not Jaws. <laughs> if you're hungry. Oh, wait, he can't eat any food. There's no food here. All we have is coffee. Oh, no. We Oh, there is a grill. We can probably do that. You haven't? You didn't know it existed? Oh, my goodness. You could still play it, to be honest. If you go out and about to, like, eBay or whatever, you technically could still buy it. But you would need, like, an external CD drive in order to play it, because that's what I'm doing right at the moment. I have, like, the regular CDs. I have the regular CDs. I kept them all, because I am a hoarder, and I don't get rid of anything. That poor Cinder needs... This girl is amazing. I'm definitely falling for her. I want to take her, take it slow though. Perhaps we should cuddle a little on, cuddle a cuddle a little on one of those sofas, sir. Take it slow. Cuddling's a little bit too forward. At least you're not tickling somebody like Riley did last time. Cause Lordy Lou. Actually, no. We should eat. We should eat first. Eat first and then cuddle. Yeah. I really do. My Sims always have a hard time because I forget to like actually deal with their needs. But yep, I got the CDs. I got life stories here. And then I have pet stories. I've got all three of them and we're going to play them on stream. We're going to play the um, castaway stories next after life stories. I've played this game religiously. I'm not kidding. And I usually play like the regular Sims 2 because I have a bunch of mods in there and stuff. But I was like, I need more story telling in my life. So I thought, life stories is where it's at for me. It works. Might as well use it to my advantage. If you still play the Sims through, play the Sims 2, though, keeping all the discs is super necessary for backup reasons. Yes, it definitely is. Unless you were one of those lucky but that uh, got Ultimate Collection. I got both. I have the regular CDs behind me. And I also have the digital one on Origin. I've got them both. I was like, I'm not passing up nothing for free. Like, I will take this. Because they said it was free. And I was like, okay. Works for me. Works for me. I did not oppose. I snagged that thing so quickly. I uninstalled all of my old CDs and installed the Ultimate Collection. And it's been working ever since. And simply, I'm obsessed once more. <laughs> Run the eBay ASAP. Yes. Oh, look at these two. Looking like Don Lothario on a Sunday afternoon. But it's a Tuesday night. Things are going so well. I think I should try my first kiss with Naomi. Sir, you met her last week. She hated you. And now you're crushing her again and you want to kiss her? What's with The Sims 2 and thinking like, okay, I saw you yesterday. I think we should like kiss already. What was the reason? Uh, read you. You can read email. You can email EA and X for the only collection. Actually, you could. You could do that in the past, but not anymore. They, lo they no longer do that anymore. They stopped doing that for a while. Not here though, maybe out back in the nice patio area. There's a little bit more privacy there. So that's out in the open. That is not privacy. There are people here. But yeah, a lot of people used to do that all the time and it would work for them. But then EA support was like, no, sorry, can't do that anymore. Sorry. Yeah, they gave it away like a few years ago. It was around the time when The Sims 4 was just first launching, it was like a promo for The Sims 4. Like, Sims 4 is coming soon, so get The Sims 2 Ultimate Collection for free. So that's what they would do. And I thought that was like the smartest idea. So many, people, like, so many people got to get The Sims 2 for the first time. And it made me so happy. 
because Sims 2 is where I kind of fell in love with the Sims franchise. Even though I did play Sims 1, Sims 2 kind of grew my love for it even more. Kiss me, Naomi. We have cutscenes in this game. Cutscenes, 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 cutscenes. And they actually kiss. Look at that. Fancy. <laughs> oh, there's so many of them. First kiss cutscene. Woohoo cutscene. Trying for a baby cutscene. Having the baby cutscene. Proposal. Rejection. All the above. Wait, thanks for a wonderful time, Vincent. I just... I had to sitting in my closet. It's a boom box. To replace the stereo that broke at the party. Now you owe me another party, but with the fewer guests, call me soon. Oh my gosh. Um, nostalgia is going is, of going to GameStop with your with your dad and running up and down the aisles looking for the new Sims 2 packs. Yes. The joys. Oh. Tell me why I thought Samantha was gonna be here. Those were the dreams. The dreams of a lifetime. Getting what you needed. Is she over here? Okay, what in the world? What's happening? What's happening? Oh no, over here. Thank you. I agree, I played Sims 1, but Sims 2 has my fondest memories. Yes, yeah, it did indeed. I also really like the fact that you could have like a memory system and see all the things that your Sims went through. That is what I really loved. Ooh, the memory system was like, was the best thing we've ever gotten. Share interest with Naomi. Wait, did our date start all over again? Hold up. <laughs> our date start, started all over again, apparently. Because I guess I waited too long for some odd reason. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're glitched. We done on broke the game. Call taxi. Go home. We'll do it again. I want to go home. <laughs> we done broke the game. Naomi's glitch. All those Sims crying over there with spoiled hamburgers and all. I remember buying the Sims 2 free time and thinking it was the best expansion pack ever. Oh, it was. We had cars. We could have a fixer upper car. Like, that was the best thing in the world. I love that stuff. It was a highlight of my life. Where's the taxi? Okay, here's the taxi. Let me go home. I want to leave. I want to leave. Yes. Naomi is glitched. Let me leave and go home. I want to go home right now. Um, I think my favorite expansion pack for The Sims 2 was Open for Business. I really loved Open for Business so much much i used to have like at home businesses all the time in the sims 2 but i really what i really loved the most out of the sims 2 was free time because there were like more act like more activities for your sims to do in their spare time like after school or like after work or whatever it made me so happy that we could have all that stuff you're playing it right you're playing that right now one of the families that owns a winery I built. Oh, that's so cool. It's so nice. I've never had a winery in The Sims 2. I've always wanted one. I never got around to doing it. Yeah, we're going to have him just eat food and then go. Because he's just so hungry and tired. But yeah, free time was a lot of fun because it was a fixer upper car. You could basically make a car dealership from all the cars you fix up yourself. There was even a lemonade stand, I think, that came with... Or was it Seasons? I can't remember. I love the lemonade stand. I love jump roping. I loved all the cool... I actually have the CD. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Legs. Hmm? What? I actually have The Sims 2 free time on, on CD. 
I was like, I don't know why I'm pretending that I know what it is, what's on here. I should probably just get it myself. Um, but yeah, we had like a bunch of other things in The Sims 2. Ballet, that's what it was. Ballet, new activities, sewing, pottery, ballet, fixer upper car. There was like game nights you could do. There was better fitness items, talent shows, and more playtime for toddlers to teens. Yeah, <laughs> I have this soccer, basketball. Like, that stuff was really cool. But yeah, open for business was like my favorite. I usually bought the collections all the time where um, I had gotten all of them into one. So I had the best of business collection. So it had H&M stuff, open for business, and kitchen and bath interior design stuff. And I loved H&M, the brand. I remember being a little baby Simmer and sitting next to my cousin on our on our monthless huge desktop taking turns the golden days. Let's hope we didn't have dial up. Well, I didn't have dial up, but where you couldn't be on the computer and be on the phone at the same time. But I played Sims day in and day out. There was one time I played The Sims 2 for 12 straight hours on a school night. And traveling through, Aldria, welcome in. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome in. You have all your discs stacked up in your closet. Yeah, I have them all like, over here. I just keep them in the background because nostalgia, you know? Oh, it's basically all CC. Oh, okay, I figured. But they have, but they do have the base game Nectar Bar. That is true, that is true. Which also reminds me, I want to be able to make a, a bar in The Sims 3, like a winery bar, of all the wine we buy in Italy. No, it's France in The Sims 3, with Isla Parody. With World Adventures, not Isla Parody, so. <laughs> Dial up. <laughs> Dial up was a time, it was a trip that we just don't want to remember. We love the kitchen and bath in Ikea. I loved Ikea stuff. Ikea stuff was, was really great. Like, if The Sims had to do another, like, brand collab, H&M stuff, Funko Pops, Ikea. Ikea, H&M, and Funko. That's all we need. Rose branded collabs worked. I remember very clearly getting open for business for my birthday, and I couldn't play it because my computer was too old. No, not the computer being too old. Surprisingly enough, The Sims 2 didn't require that much. You only needed a Windows XP or a Windows Vis a Windows Vista or Vista like OS. You only needed um, 512 megabytes of RAM, three gigabytes of free storage. And that's literally it. This game did not require that much to run, but oh we. Man, nowadays be like, you need five gigabytes or eight gigabytes of RAM. I'm like, geez, Louise, I can't handle that. That's too much. I used to hurry up and do my homework to play The Sims 2. That was me. I was like, I'm going to do all my homework and then I'm going to automatically just play The Sims 2. That's what I literally did. I would get all my homework done and then play The Sims 2. And sometimes it would be on a school night as well. Just had to verify your account, but I loved them for business too, although I wasn't good at it, probably because the translation was kind of wonky. Sims 2 translation, I would say, was wonky for sure. I missed like the idea of having to run your own business in your home. Like I loved that stuff. Running your own store in your garage or in your first floor. You literally could have a bakery. Oh my god. Wait, now I want to do this in The Sims 2. I want to have a bakery, like, on the first floor and then live upstairs. I've always dreamed of doing that in The Sims 2, but I never got to do it. I don't know why, but I thought it was, like, the coolest thing ever. You had an XP first? I think I had XP first as well. And then I got Windows 7. Uh, now it does, especially CC hoarders like me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your cousin sometimes played and had me and yes, lost everything every half hour, every half year. Lordy Lou. I keep my stuff backed up. I'd be too paranoid to get rid of, like, lose all of my stuff. I wouldn't know what to do. 
You've done restaurants, hair salons, modeling studios, winery. I've done restaurants before. I've done a hair salon slash barbershop. Or no, a nail, a, like spa slash nail hair salon. And then I think I've done a car dealership toy store. And I think that's all I've done. Windows me. Oh gosh, not the windows me. I remember there was a time where we could have, um, whatchamacallit. What was it called? What was it called again? It was like Windows 98, I think. You have a hotel project that's been on your list too. I want to know how to make a... I've done a hotel build one time. It was functional. But I've never actually ran a hotel. Well, there's probably a mod that you can download, I'm pretty sure. For like The Sims 2 to run a hotel business in your home. Like a and b I've recently, I only recently, like we're talking, but the past two weeks, dipped my toe into Built CC and I'm and you're obsessed now. Very good. Very good. Uh, okay, we gotta do some energy and probably get to bowling alley. Oh, what's AT&T class of 2021? Well, AT&T class of 2021 is a program built by AT&T and I've been sponsored by AT&T for the past three months where they have sponsored 11 different streamers and there are two pe two mentors the Bote sisters and cypher pk Bote sisters do a bunch of chess and cypher pk does a lot of like fortnite first person shooter games a lot and cypher was my mentor and with this program basically at&t was helping all these like up and coming streamers to upgrade their setups have them learn from very well known streamers who have done have been in the business for a very long time understand how to stream how to um grow in sponsorships etc cetera, etc cetera. but it's a really really cool program it's the first of its kind so there were like streamers like domo stanton rochella momo misfortune it's me troy and a whole bunch of other streamers but i think that was at and I use their brand for my internet all the time. I use AT&T Fiber, which is a fast, reliable internet you can get pretty much anywhere in the, in the world. And what's so interesting is that like, AT&T worked with Twitch to put this campaign together. And the fact that it's the first of its kind and I was a part of it was so cool. So, and I got to know Cypher PK for a while and the Bota sisters. And it was really nice to understand like, why they got into this space and what and why they do what they do and why they love it and how they're going to continue and how they've grown in the past recent years and it's made it so much better for me as a streamer but also just a regular person and what's so interesting that me and cypher are literally the same age so it's, it's kind of funny and sim christina welcome in how are you doing who's calling me but welcome welcome in how are you Hopefully you're doing well. Now let's see. I'm going to save my game. And then we're going to go to the bowling alley again to see if it works. Oh, you meant just a hotel build. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. I don't know if you can actually purchase a hotel hotel lots because it's not a community lot. No, you can't. But you can buy the rental homes though. And own a vacation home. That I do remember you could do that, but regular hotels you couldn't. I don't think. No, I no you couldn't because technically they're half residential and half like community, so I don't think you could. I remember walking up, waking up earlier to be able to play The Sims 2 before school. Same. I used to do that all the time by, like, simultaneously playing, um, no, I was playing The Sims 2 at the same time while watching, what's it called? What is it called? Land Before Time. 
I need to explore that more. So do I. So let's go and share interest with Naomi, apparently. Naomi was glitched. After the first kiss, it was glitched. Jeez Louise. We've done all these things here. We're gonna buy her some coffee. Hopefully this one works. You remember The Sims 2 used to be up so obsessed. I'm still obsessed with this game. I learn new things every single day when playing it. And I've been playing for years. The Sims is just amazing because you can literally play for years and still have stuff you haven't played through that you learn through or learned about yet. Exactly. Like I've been playing The Sims 2 since 2004. And so being able to can discover new new things about this game is so interesting to me. Now, if you didn't know this, this is actually a spin-off version of The Sims 2. So they did like side series like Life Stories, which we're playing now, then Castaway Stories, and then Pet Stories. They also did one for The Sims 3 called The Sims Medieval. I'm glad people still are playing Sims in 2022. Me too. I'm very pleased about that because I think a lot of people need to understand that Sims 2 is iconic. You loved Land Before Time, but dang, that first movie was so emotional. It was. I still have some of the Land Before Time movies on VHS. And then DVD. I would neglect my homework sometimes in middle school to play The Sims 3. <laughs> Why was that me? I sometimes would prioritize Sims before homework. That was a bad thing. You were obsessed with Land Before Time as a kid. Same. I remember like Chomper and Littlefoot and Sarah and Spike and Ducky and Peachley. Like those were some like really nice characters. I still have um I have them all in DVD, actually, which I love. We can still watch them. This looks like a nice spot. Oh, Naomi, um, you want to kiss? Kiss me, kiss me. Kiss, 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 kiss. Smooch, 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 smooch. <laughs> yeah, I think you would like it, honestly. There should be more people who should play The Sims 2 on, on Twitch. <laughs> or just in general. More people should play The Sims 2. It's such a good game. I mean, I'll play all the other Sims games, of course, but I love The Sims 2 more. Play it day in and day out. <gasps> Thanks for the stereo, Naomi. I appreciate that. And then she leaves. Okay. What did you say, Naomi? I think we might be able to finish this whole entire, like, Vincent story today in the stream, which I actually might just do. Because there's not that many chapters left for Vincent's story. We already had the date with Naomi, so I'm thinking it's maybe two or three more chapters. And you know what's funny? She had that stereo in her closet and then put it in her back pocket. So I'm just like, what? <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's go home. I had almost all, wait, I had almost all of them on VHS in grade six with my mom. And I had to move from my dad's house while he was in the hospital or I would have been taken away from from them. Oh, so I had to leave them all behind in the boxes and teddy bears. No. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Neon. No. No. Oh, man. No. So we didn't we did not even bowl. Naomi's not a bowler. Neither is Vincent. He can't bowl to save, save his life. He just wanted to kind of get back into good graces with Naomi after Samantha, our ex-girlfriend, after three weeks of dating. We want to get married after three weeks of dating. Um, sabotaged our date with our first date with Naomi last time. It was tragic. And then before time, I recently got the full collection. I feel like a kid again. Ah! Do you all remember the, um, the VHS tapes that were orange from Nickelodeon? I have only one of those, and it's for the Rugrats Valentine's Day episode special. Chapter 8. I had a great time with Naomi tonight, although the next time she asks me to play a game with game with her, I should probably say, you win, and save myself from trouble. 
my consolation cuddle session with her on the couch is made up for the blow. Wait, for the blow to my ego. But it was that kiss that really knocked me off my feet. Wow. I really hope I get to see her again soon. I hope so too. And welcome back, Sevi. <laughs> Great day. Here's a stereo. <laughs> Great day. Here you go. Here's your stereo. I mean, the repair person did fix it. So, I mean, hey. Now we have two stereos we can have. But I will sell this one for the better one. Oh, whew. I can put it back. I was so horrified. I thought I was going to... <laughs> I thought it was going to be a big stereo, but in reality, it's just a small, dinky one. It's like this one you put your iPod Nano on. How dramatic. <laughs> How is our genetic man doing? Awfully. Well, now he's doing great. He's back in good graces with, with Naomi now, so he's doing all right. Still a bit messy, but still good at the same time. You miss VHS? I remember them for Rugrats. Yeah. And surprisingly enough, I have my VHS slash DVD box what combo box working on my tv but i have to rewind all of my old uh, vhs tapes that's an ipod nano I'm watching the sims 2 is such a is such nostalgia yeah uh i think i had one of the rugrats movies i th uh, think it was where chucky's dad falls for the lady at the reptile museum that was a rugrats go to paris yes Oh, okay, sir. Do you do you? Um, and that's when um, he met Kimmy for the first time. And that's where they all went to Paris. Wild times for Chucky. I have the Valentine's Day special episode. I have the Halloween special. And then I have the all grown up special for Rugrats. But now I can watch all the episodes on uh, Paramount Plus. All right, here, my skirt VHS. <laughs> Plato, Dodo Island. <laughs> I don't remember that, but it sounds funny. Sadly enough, you cannot download The Sims 2 anywhere. That is sad enough. You wish you could, but you can't. You can only buy it off of like eBay or other illegal sources that I will not mention because I feel like that's just not good. Um, I don't trust illegal downloading The Sims 2 because I feel like it will never work. But you can't really download The Sims 2 off of Origin or Steam because this game is dirt old, like 2004 old. But, I mean, I say try your luck with, with eBay if you can find the original discs on there. If you do come across something on or on uh, eBay that says The Sims 2 Ultimate Collection, it's a scam. Do not trust anyone that says, I will give you The Sims 2 Ultimate Collection for $5. Because that's not possible. You can't do that. I'm ready. I remember the coming soon clip on the VHS tapes. It was, so, it was so loud. But I loved it either way. I'm like, yes, burst my eardrums. I was watching All, Gr All Grown Up recently. The TV show or the special? What was that s superstar's name? Um, Emika? Emika, I think. I think, that was, I think that was the name. Emika. Yeah, Emeka, Emeka. Yeah, that was a superstar's singer name in the All Grown Up Special episode. Emeka. And the nice medallion that Stu Pickles had for so long when he met Dee Dee for the first time. You got cut off perfectly by an ad. <laughs> Three ads, oh my gosh. I don't even know what I said. Um... I can't remember any of my VHS having uh, special colors. Oh no. I feel like you can still buy them at thrift stores. What the? Okay. What was I saying earlier? Oh yeah, I was saying that the the um, the um audio for the coming soon was so loud. I was like, burst my eardrums, please. Give me the nostalgia. Uh, Dodo Island was such a good Play-Doh set. Oh, it was Play-Doh. You know, sometimes I kind of just licked my Play-Doh when I was a kid. It was salty. Uh, it came with a VH. It came with that VHS and little characters. Oh, that's so cool! It was right after you said I don't trust illegal downloading Sims 2. Oh, 
Yeah, I don't trust illegal download for The Sims 2 because, I mean, there are things out there to get it, but I just don't trust them because I always feel like it will harm your computer and I don't want to be the cause of that. You have know, the original, but my laptop is so new for it to download. Oh, no. My computer is so brand new. I have Windows 10 on my computer and I was able for it to, like, run. I believe if you do exclamation mark sims 2 and you're having trouble having to, to get the sims 2 to work on your modern day pc it should work i remember all disney vhs has had i had this creepy commercial of disneyland paris disneyland paris there were commercials for that oh no <laughs> didn't we all though i mean i mean who didn't honestly licking your play-doh to see what it was like I mean, I ate bubbles when you blow the bubbles. I almost ate Play-Doh. Did I eat sand? Probably so. Yeah, so if you do have a Mac computer, there is The Sims 2, but it's called Sims 2 Super Collection. But it doesn't have all the expansions and stuff, though. It's missing, like, maybe, like, one or two, I think. And, uh, Fifi, bro, welcome in. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. It's really hard to torrent the game or download illegally. Yeah, even The Sims 4. You don't, if you download The Sims 4 illegally, you don't have the gallery. <laughs> Just facts. Never had a kiss felt like that. I have to see her again very soon. Vincent, you need to slow your roll. You met her last week. Literally, you met Naomi two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. I checked my play on once and immediately regretted it. Yeah. It ain't good. Salty, but not good. And Joe, sweetie Roxy, welcome, welcome in. How are you doing today? We're playing The Sims Life Stories today. So we are doing really good today. Yeah, it will not end very well. You could go to jail for that. I was told I ate dog and cat food once when I was a toddler. Luckily, I never had a dog or a cat, so I never did it. And you know what's interesting? Speaking of toddlers, in The Sims 2, the regular Sims 2, if you had The Sims 2 pets, toddlers actually could eat out of the dog and cat bowls if they were hungry. They also could sleep in the pet beds, too. So you didn't know that, now you know. Yeah, The Sims 2 has been going... I mean, not Sims 2. The Sims 4 has been going on sale for quite some time for like five dollars like free i'm so happy that you're here too but yeah they would play in the toilet they would eat out of the dog bowls or the pet bowls i would say um they would sleep in the pet beds they could hug the pets as well they could also steal bottles from each other like two toddlers could fight over a bottle and snatch it away basically which I thought was crazy, but so cool. <laughs> the helicopter's so loud. But yeah, that is our carpool. So if you didn't know this with The Sims 2, if you reach level 10 of the business career, your carpool becomes a helicopter. And in certain careers, there are certain carpools. Once you reach a high level... There are like the sloppy Joe loppy cars, helicopters, limos, modern day corporate car. The list goes on and on, you know. Being too poor, not being able to afford the pet bed, right? It's like, you know, you can sleep here. You're, you're good. Or they'll sleep on the floor. You also can put your babies on the floor as well in The Sims 2. Where in The Sims 3, they put their baby in the snow. We love Freddy Fish, uh, Spy Fox, and I forgot the other ones I played. I remember Spy Fox, but now my sister is old enough to understand how to use a computer. She can play them. Yay! <laughs> Rich man things, I can't. Ooh, we brought a friend home from work today. And Brittany is calling us again. <laughs> Why are you so obsessed with me? I just want it. My child seems to be able to hold their toddler siblings like teens can. Me too. Oh, hello. I installed a mod in The Sims 3 a while ago 
where kids can pick up like the like actual kids kids can pick up toddlers and i thought it was the best thing in the world but yeah i wish i wish they could do that pick up toddlers i even love the play pens that the sims 3 had it had even the walkers Yesterday's date was nice. I should try for a repeat performance. I'll invite Naomi over. Oh, Naomi. I recently found a post box that will let me do that. Oh, really? I have so many post boxes. I'm not kidding. So for the longest time, I always downloaded custom content from the Sims 2 website to store content and all over the internet for the past decade or so. And I'm not kidding. I have kept every single piece of CC I've ever downloaded. And now I have over 300, 300, over 300 gigabytes of custom content and mods for The Sims 2. However, they're not in my game. They're on my external hard drive, though. I wanted a mod for that for The Sims 2, but it doesn't exist, though. Sadly, yeah, it doesn't. But I wish it did, though. Brittany meaning wants to date that sim. Yes. And Queen D, welcome in. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. Ooh, look at her. We're playing We're playing The Sims 2 today. And we're just vibing along. And I'm just so happy that we're playing this game again. It's been so many years since I last played Vincent's story. Can I help you, Heath? You got to go. Oh, it's Kira since on Patreon, our little family post box. Oh, really? Oh, good. And I'm doing really good today. Thank you for asking, and I'm glad you are doing good. Sir, I said you can leave, not use my bathroom. Heath, you can go home. Bye. <laughs> you can leave, Heath. Let's go ahead and talk to Naomi a little bit. Yes. But I've been good. I actually had a really good morning this morning, actually. I was surprised that I was like, I was surprised that I had woken up early this morning, not thinking that I would actually wake up at a decent time. He's just swimming with your girl. Yeah, you know, not great. Naomi, I'd like to take you somewhere special. We can go anywhere you want. Not you taking a bribe. Well, you know what sounds really special? Staying in and eating together. Just you and I. Do you have anything you like to cook? Well, I can make some mean spaghetti. That's what I can make. Some mean spaghetti. I got cooking level four. I will teach you some nice microwave spaghetti, madam. <laughs> you got to go work at five. Today, don't get off until 2 a.m.? Oh my goodness, that's some that's some long hours. That is some long hours. Well, hopefully your workday won't be stressful. Yikes, I have never worked hours like that before in my life. Ma'am, can I help you? You can sit down if you would like to. <laughs> She's literally just following me, like watching me cook the food. All the spaghetti we've seen him <laughs> made. Let's do this. <laughs> yes. She's just watching me cook the spaghetti. All breathing down my neck. Look at that spaghetti. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Tasty. Ooh, that smells just right. Let's dig in. There I go. Would you like to dig in, Naomi? You want to join me? Oh, call me, I'll take guess. There we go. Book fan, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well and swell on this fine evening. Or afternoon, actually. Oh, yeah, you work at, at a main event. That's why some days it's like 12 a.m. or 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. Oh, that makes more sense then. The city is, is nice, but I, it would be a lot nicer if we were in the hot tub. Not him thinking the hot tub would make it better. But hey, hey, hey. Well, hopefully you have a good work day today. Make sure you drink a lot of water. Stay well rested. Because my brain be like, I be gone. 
my brain would be gone around like maybe 11 p.m. If I was working that long of hours. You're sleepy today. How are you? I've been doing pretty well today, actually. I've just been, you know, chilling, playing some Sims 2 life stories at the moment. So it's been a very chill day. Yeah, someone gave you a gift sub, I think, yesterday in the stream. Yeah. Wait, actually. Yeah, yesterday, uh, some people gave, like, gifted subs and you got one of them. I hope you enjoy the emotes. My job is fine. I cook food. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. I want to know. What's your favorite food that you've cooked at your job before? Oh. I have to ask Naomi to join me. <laughs> She's just standing here. There we go. I feel like if I was working at a place that, cooked f that I had to cook food for, it'd be spaghetti. I used to work at Little Caesars for like two and a half years and then I left because I was just like, mm -mm, no more. That first kiss knocked me off my feet. I think we should try that again and again and again and again. Vincent, you need to slow your roll. You're being messy. Huddle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, Sammy Ditto give you a gift sub. Oh, that's so cute. Tender kiss. Heck, kiss. Kiss, tender kiss. Loaded queso. Ooh. Wait, that sounds actually kind of good. Not gonna lie. Kiss sir again. Tender kiss. Tender kiss. Kiss, 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 kiss. Make out. <laughs> Kissing before marriage. Main event is like Dave and, Dave and Buster's. <gasps> oh. See, I've never... I've been to Dave and Buster's one time, and it was so much fun. Their food's great. I would love to be at your workplace just to eat the food. <laughs> It'd be fun. Naomi is definitely the one for me. Sometime soon I'm going to have to confront Samantha and make sure she knows to leave me alone or to arrest her. Can't believe they made icon before marriage. In this economy? Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Kissing and making eye contact before marriage? Holding hands? <sighs> Unacceptable. I can't believe this. <laughs> Vincent, after I left the bowling alley, I met this strange lady who said she needed some bus fare to get back to Sim City. Riley Harlow, maybe? Maybe? So I bought this really amazing mask for her and I thought it would be great hanging above your bar. So I want you to have it. Oh, really? Oh, thanks. And <laughs> dump Samantha for the same thing she keeps doing now, literally. Good night, Vincent. I've had a wonderful evening. Oh, what's so adorable. What'd she get me? Oh my. You got this at a bus stop? Okay, thanks, I guess. Um, quite interesting. My girlfriends and I had our own little shell challenge and touring them on Zoom today. Oh, that's so exciting. Oh, a Zoom meeting, but touring each of the houses. Oh, I love that. I love that. Oh, <laughs> she's asleep. Her love language is gift giving. Yes. First a stereo, now a cheeky mask. Now that was a date. I really think there's something to, something to Naomi and me. Uh, and I really hope she feels the same way. I'm wondering if Samantha is going to go ballistic or if she's keeping herself distracted with Johnny Cullen. I'm sure I'll find out at the worst possible time. Yeah, I think so. That was our quarantine activity when the pandemic first happened. That's actually the best idea ever. I like that. Keeping the tradition alive. Keeping the relationship and the friendships alive. That's good. I like that. It's so cute. Is he tired? Yes, he is. You can go to bed, buckaroo old pal. Auto lights. All lights. Does not work. Well, maybe I turn off all the lights. They all turn back on. Okay, well then. Hm, fine by me. Fine by me. We go to work today, but I wonder if there is more to the story.
There you go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All the chapters. So it looks like we have three chapters left with this one. Three chapters left for Vincent's story. Vincent, it's time for work. Go to work. Thank you. Yeah, we have three chapters with this one. So this should be really interesting. I'm so excited for y'all to see this. <laughs> I feel like he should quit his job. But I wonder if he quits his job, will that interfere with our business? I think it will. Oh, well. We're home. You earn 2,500 simoleons. Let's order some groceries. Yes, our fridge is kind of low. Check our email. Finish writing our novel. <laughs> Oh, here, here. Hello, Darren. Can I have my groceries, please? Hello. hello. Oh. Check, check. Thank you for my groceries. Put them away. Put your groceries away, Vincent. You can leave now, Darren. That is all. I will tip you. I will wire you the money later. Oh. I love how they just put their food in the fridge just like that. Carton of eggs. Also, you don't lay your eggs like that. They get smushed and icky. You don't do that to your eggs like that. That's crazy. Also, what's smelling? Oh, clean this up, please. Thank you. He has to go potty. <laughs> it was really hard to figure out my account and keep where it kept disappearing when I uh, set my password. Oh, no. Took days, but magically worked this morning. Yay, Santa Fe at Bay. I'm so glad you can finally pop in. Yeah, I had to turn on, um, what's it called? Verification for our phone numbers, because I had it only for emails, but I had it for phone numbers too, for extra, like, safety precautions, you know? But I'm glad you finally got it to work and finally got in. Write your novel instead. Make a living through books. That's good. How are you doing, though, this morning? And hopefully you're doing good. We're playing The Sims Life Story today, so we're just chilling along, vibing, trying to carry out Vincent's story. Sir, what did you just eat? I don't know what he just ate, but he ate, he sure ate something. He can only make spaghetti, hamburgers, instant meal. Eat that. That's what you call an instant meal? That's a soda. That is a soda, sir. Oh, phone call. Phone call. I know it's chose before you did. <laughs> uh, want you to be, be safe. Yes. Brittany again. Brittany wants to date Vincent and I can see it. Oh my gosh. I kind of forgot when your Sims are calling somebody or they call you. You could change the topic. Whilst talking on the phone. That's so cool. Let's talk about health. Yeah, trolls are very, very icky. Trolls do not have verified phone numbers, so gotta keep them, gotta keep them away. Gotta keep you all safe, of course. Always. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel so happy today, honestly. Like, I really do. I feel like there have been times where, like, this month has been so exciting and so much fun. I mean, of course, all the other ones have been great, but I feel like this month has just been just more fun than usual. I guess because it's like I live by myself now and it's a new year and I'll be turning a new age next week. So it's definitely very different and more exciting. Yeah, I forgot that was a thing in The Sims so you could change the topic while I was talking on the phone. That is also very true. That's also very true, Dab. You are correct. Wait, do I confront Samantha now? Tomorrow? Today? Because you work today, right? Yeah, you work today in an hour. Until 3 p.m. Vince in time for work. Chop, chop. This is the one thing about the Sims life stories. When the story is at a standstill, they just go to work and that's it. Keep them alive as much as possible. 
And thank you so much, Simterior. I'm so excited for my birthday. Um, I'm going to be streaming for 12 hours that day on the 22nd. Brittany's at my house now? No, no. But yeah, I'll be streaming in 12, for 12 hours on my birthday on the 22nd of February. Um, I'm still trying to figure out all the games I want to play that day, like what I want to do. I definitely want to play Sims, of course. Sims 4. I have a lot of things I want to do that day. I want to play Not So Berry. But I've also been thinking of actually playing um, Breath of the Wild for the first time on stream because I've never got to really play a play like I used to. But then also, you know, hey, I think it'll be kind of fun. Play some games on stream for 12 hours. But I'm also going to be raising money for um, the Special Olympics on my birthday for 12 whole hours. I always dedicate my birthday to a charity of my choice. Raise awareness for something that I believe in. Because I don't like the attention all on me. So I was like, let's raise money. Use my platform for, for something of really amazing, really great. And if you all focus on that instead of me. <laughs> oh, hello. I fortunately overheard a TT, a TT, what? In which certain discussions about Samantha and Johnny about a union and yes the two are actually as Greg would phrase it trying tying the knot Samantha and Johnny are getting married Samantha's getting married so soon and to my chief competitor I should invite her over to make sure that she's not doing this to get under my skin I feel like she is or she just wants money <laughs> okay I know yeah last year we raised money for I need to die I need diverse games. And then this year we're doing for the Special Olympics. Which is kind of actually kind of great. It's kind of at the tail end of the regular Olympics too. Vincent cares because why exactly? Can you tell he didn't learn how to clean? Yeah, he has not learned how to clean at all. I feel like Vincent just needs to know if Samantha's just doing this. It's like make him feel like bad about himself or whatever like just get under his skin but he's just obsessed they're both toxic they're like nate and maddie in euphoria both equally toxic but still love each other in some similar way and also maddie bondy welcome in welcome back you got some food what did you get for food you haven't missed anything you just came at the very beginning of a new chapter Vincent is calling his ex-girlfriend slash ex-fiance, Samantha, over. Even though she really doesn't want to, she'll be over. <laughs> Great analogy. Thank you. I do try. I didn't watch Euphoria season one and two in like four days. <laughs> Basic cereal. Me. I had chicken. I had a chicken biscuit. I made um, chicken last night in my oven and I had like a bunch of leftovers. And I was like, I can eat this. I made biscuits yesterday. I hope I'm not making a mistake inviting her over here. I hope not. But yeah, Maddie and, and Nate are just toxic. Along with Cassie and Nate, they're both equally just... They're not me for you at all. Oh, come in. Come in, Samantha. You love you for you and a cut up. But not a binge show for me. Yeah, there's a lot you can do. Like, that show is a lot. It's very, very heavy. I got a question. In the Sims 4, are there pool tables? Sadly, no. There's no pool tables, but there are, um, like, what's it called? You, you, turn the, you turn the thing. Foosball. There is foosball. And, like, regular, like, video game machines, but there's no actual pools. I wish there was. You already had a chance with me, Vincent. What do you want? What do you want, Vincent? He walks away. He says no. The only way, the only way to say it is to, is just to get out, to get it out. Oh my gosh. Okay. Chat. You ready for a new episode? Me too. I'm ready for the new episode of Euphoria because episode seven should be really interesting. I'm very excited for it. 
and they also got renewed for season three so that's also exciting samantha congratulations on your engagement i hope you and johnny work out i just want to make sure this isn't something you're doing to try and hurt me oh you were very you were never capable of making your own decisions vince you think you can just brush me off to go for a poor barista? You're clueless. Wait a minute, what? Wait a minute. How do you know about the poor barista? How do you know about Naomi? How do you know about Naomi? <laughs> That's it, she's out of here. She's got to go. <laughs> did, I, uh, did this man just say she looked good? Yes. Again. Toxic for each other. Do we what do we do now? We ask Samantha to leave. Leave. Get out. Get out. Samantha, I've tried to be nice with you, but you're not going to I'm not going to let you talk to me about Naomi about Naomi in that way. I think you should leave now. Get out, Samantha. You're kicking me out for a coffee jockey? Oh no. You do not. You did not just say that. I like how I just set the emphasis on me and no and not. It's like you're kicking me out for that coffee jockey? Oh, oh no. Oh, no, no, no. You did not just say that. Yeah, okay. Sure. I'll show you, you big jerk. No one treats Samantha Hayden like this and gets away with it. She literally said, oh, you'll rule the day. You will rule the day. Samantha, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're... You like playing sleep music for your precious coffee girl so much. Let's see how you do without it. What do you mean? What? In front of me? Are you serious? And she just broke it again? Oh no, Samantha, please. I can't. Can we just wash our hands, uh, wash our hands of each other and be done with this? Samantha, why? Why? Oh. You want to wash your hands of me, do you? Wash this. Wash this. What? What are you doing? What's she doing? What's she doing? No, our stereo with Naomi's over here. Naomi gave me a, a tiny one. Luckily, she didn't break that one. Samantha didn't. What are you doing now? And you break my sink? Hey, Tabika, welcome in. How are you doing today? Samantha, what's wrong with you? I'm gonna get out of my house and I'm calling the police. She's breaking everything. If you want the heat, I brought some matches. Not her being unhinged and starting to fire in my own house. And the fire department, and she just walks away. Not my pool table. Oh, that's so loud. My ears. Yikes. You're good. I'm not. <laughs> I'm stressed. Wait, thank goodness that's over. Samantha is, is a walking disaster, but at least she's gone for good and I don't have to be reminded of her anymore. Gotta run. Be more careful next time. Bye. What do you mean be more careful? Did you see that lady burn my house down? More Vincent? I'm doing good overall. <laughs> He's stressed. <gasps> oh my gosh. Um, but I'm fine. I'm actually fine uh today. Vincent, however, is not. But for the most part, it's been a good day so far. Good day so far, Tabico. <laughs> and how's Jay lunch, by the way? She's the one getting married. Right. Crazy GF in the Sims to destroy his pool table even though she has a new man. New York Times front page right now. What do we do now? We just wait. So it says, what is Samantha thinking? I definitely appreciate Naomi now more than ever. And I can't wait to show her just how much. Um, we're going to call repair person. Oh, we got another delivery showing up at our door. Whoa, there must have been a brutal party in here. Dude, you must have a great girlfriend. She bought 
all this all wait but all this great stuff for you really i didn't buy any what what did she give me a pyramid first oh wait there's a note attached to the guitar dear vince i will love you forever and ever after meeting you i'll never be able to think about another guy again lies you really ground me and keep me sane okay whatever um i'm so glad i'm going to be your wife uh I can't wait to hear you play some sweet music for me on this guitar. It plugs right into the stereo. I love you, sweetie. XOXOXO Samantha. Oh. Well, that must have been like way before we broke up with her. She's not my girlfriend anymore. How does she even go from being so nice to setting fires in my house? Exactly. Mental breakdown. Sammy Ditto, welcome in. How are you doing today? You just missed the craziness that happened. Our ex-girlfriend, Samantha Hayden, broke my stereo, broke my sink, and then set my pool table on fire. Lunch was good. Turkey sandwich at sub shop. Ooh, that sounds good. Yes. I love a turkey sandwich. It sounds delicious. What does this one look like? Hmm. Let's see. What does it look like? Oh, it looks nice. It's literally the exact same thing. It's the same thing. I'm selling it. 6.3 thousand simoleons. Are you kidding me? Not bad. Oh yeah, The Sims team was definitely having a blast with this this franchise. Honestly, I would say. Chapter ten that didn't go so so well so well, but what I was expecting really. It's odd that she seems so into Johnny, and yet she's trying so hard to get back at me. Issues. I wonder what Johnny thinks of this, or does he even think about it at all? Does he even know? Is he clueless? I think he is. Johnny Cullen is clueless of the whole thing. He has no idea what's happening. He's oblivious. Oh my gosh. Sims 2 is so dramatic. Like without the story it itself is crazy. But with the story, with pre-meditated like storylines already created and everything, it's chaotic. Times 10. But I love it. And love is so welcome in. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well today. You just missed some drama that we had with our ex-girlfriend, Samantha Hayden. Really trying to destroy our lives. Try to poison us one time at a dinner date with a girl named Alexis. Or Alexa, I think. And then set our pool table on fire. Broke my stereo twice. Broke my sink Sabotage my date with Naomi first time. We're having a rough time in this game. <laughs> but still doing great overall. And Epic Victoria, welcome in. Good afternoon. You renewed your license today. I need a drink. Coffee will do. <laughs> I need to renew my license next week. It expires next week on my birthday. I have to do an eye exam. So... It's going to be a time and a half getting that stuff sorted out, you know. I think I should repair my own sink. Oh, no, you're already here. I'm going to stop. Sit on your couch. Um, but I'm doing really good so far at Epic Victoria. Hopefully you're doing good. You feel bad for your sim? Should I have a nice Christmas and light the tree? Bam, fire. Sim can be, the sims can be very chaotic. The one time I actually had a Christmas tree in The Sims 4... My tree caught on fire. I laughed because of like, what could possibly go wrong next? My carpet caught on fire next. Yes, you fixed everything. Thank you. The mate will mop up all the puddles. Yeah, I, have, I, have, I had a quite a day in this game for sure. I really did. Stressful, but fun day. And I'm glad you're doing good today. Have you had a chance to ever play The Sims Life Stories before? I exam for license renewal. I need an extra pair of specs myself. I feel like I need new ones, but I feel like mine's mine doesn't really need to be changed anymore. Like my prescription changes ever so slightly. 
But mine's going to cost $30 to get the eye exam at the uh, DMV. And the DMV is, takes forever. Luckily, on my birthday, I stream for 12 hours. And normally, I would never stream the, the next day. So the 23rd, I basically have the whole day to deal with the DMV and relax. Hadn't heard of this until you streamed it. Really? Oh my gosh. This game is just flipping fantastic. I mean, technically you could still play this game. You could buy it off of like eBay or like a thrift store. If it's somewhere in the world in your area. And personally, I think it's a, it's a good game to play overall. Drink from the bottle, get juiced. I mean, the only way to play it properly is to have an external CD drive because nowadays modern computers don't really have a CD drive, which is kind of sad. And you never played The Sims 2? Oh my gosh. Well, I'm glad I'm streaming this game. It was funny too because Candy Beer just sat there watching her Sim panic. <laughs> it's like, you know, um, this is fine. It's like that meme of the dog sitting in the, in the room where it's just all fire and saying, this is fine. Everything's fine. It's good. I wonder what we do now. We just, we just wait. He's eating chili con carne. Dude, did you hear about Samantha and Johnny's honeymoon? Honeymoon? I don't care, Greg. Oh, so you didn't hear about Johnny's company going under? And him flying right back here to find out what's going on. Wait. Johnny's company went under? I wonder why. Hmm, I wonder why it went under and failed. Hmm, sounds like a Samantha problem to me. In Atlanta, it takes as long as getting dinner. And dine out four to six hours. That's crazy. It took an hour for you. Oh, good. But still, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot of hours. I could not be in the DMV for that long. Yeah, it turns out the success of Satellite caused a lot of investors to pull out of BitTech. They bombed it overnight, dude. <laughs> the gif you t uh, tweeted about Euphoria is hilarious. Yeah. I'm not kidding about that one. I literally watched Euphoria season one and two in four days. Since it was your first Sims game. Oh, hello. I still play it till this day. And every time I play it, I learn something new all the time. Yeah, so I kind of got a date with that with Alexa tonight. So I got to go. Wish me luck, dude. I'm out. Bye-bye, Greg. Have fun with Alexa, the coffee drinker. Oh, the phone is still ringing. Okay. Oh, it's Naomi. Nice. Imagine recreating the storyline in The Sims 4. Oh my gosh. I kind of want to now. <laughs> I kind of want to. Uh, Vincent and Sayomi, could you meet me at the mall? There's a pogo stick here, so you can have, you have to jump on. You just have to jump on. New York Katie and Plaza. Oh, okay. New York Katie and Plaza, you say. I'll meet you at the mall. Don't worry, Naomi. I'll meet you there. Also, how did Brittany get inside of my house? <laughs> how did Brittany get inside of my house? I don't understand. Someone called the police. She got in. She broke in. Now her trying to go dig only for the man to go broke. It's like, mm, you're broke now. I think we gotta leave. Everyone's on a date in your house, literally. To shop at Arcadium, you need the titanium. No. It reminds me of Arcadia Bay from Life is Strange. Go into Arcadium Plaza. Da 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 da. I swear, every time I try to give my Sims, or I try to push my Sims into the right direction, they do a 360 on me and say, nope, sorry, can't. I'm too busy. I'm like, no, you were here last night. You're fine. Why are you thinking about marriage, Naomi? We just met two weeks ago. But okay. It's fine by me. Hey, Naomi. It's good seeing you too. 
I believe I have a few kisses for your lovely arm, Naomi. Oh my gosh. Is this like a Riley Harlow situation all over again where he's going too forward? At least with Vincent, even though he is messy and dates so many people and it fails, he did right by Naomi at least. Are you good, bestie? Somehow I knew I wouldn't be able to go out tonight without seeing it with Samantha. There's something, there's going to be an argument tonight one way or another, and I might as well be the cause of it. Oh, wow. Samantha's here, and so is Johnny Cullen. He's pretty much a vampire at this point. Pretty much a vampire. But this time, we actually get to argue with Samantha this time around. Poker? Sure. Irritate, argue. <laughs> I like how they're just smiling but also arguing at the same time. I heard you guys had a fairly rocky honeymoon, so I'll make you guys a deal. Don't interfere with Naomi and me and I'll return the favor. Yeah. Totally. Don't you talk to my wife that way, Vinny boy. Not him calling me Vinny boy. Sir, your company is broke. You broke. I'm richer than you. Look who's talking. <laughs> Did I just see cheating <laughs> emotes on his head? Yes. Those are fighting words. I'll poke Johnny and show him how I really feel about him and his wife. Oh, wait, no, no, no. That was actually him falling in love. No, not cheating. No. Falling in love animation, uh, emotes above his head. Oh, <laughs> he slapped Samantha. <laughs> and slapped him back. Samantha is toxic. But no, he fell in love with Naomi for the first time, which is so nice. Fell in love with Naomi. There's nothing like hearing those three little words that sound so big. I love you. So cute. Brittany said she's done. Like, I'm done. I gotta go. But why does he low-key look like somebody from Twilight? <laughs> oh, wait. Oops, sorry. Uh, not you making Google eyes with Naomi. Uh -uh, what, what, what's this? Johnny shows him that he can't treat you like that. And he just... Oh, there's a double... Wait, there's a double fight happening. Oh my gosh. Samantha and Naomi fighting. Johnny and Vincent fighting at the same time. Oh. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Naomi wins. Who will win? Johnny or... Vincent and Naomi won both fights. Power couple. If this is not a power couple scenario, I don't know what is. They should have been on the cover. Power couple. Sins for a power couple who? I only know Vincent and Naomi power couple. <laughs> we don't speak to broke... I'm sorry, Jim, but we don't speak to the broke. Sorry. So much drama. And you slapping me? Let that be a lesson, Samantha Hayden. When you mess with Vincent, you're messing with Naomi Hunt. Oh. Not him crying. Vincent and Naomi some power couple 2022. Exactly. Make a trend. You, We really showed them the nerve of those guys. Who are you? I think it's best we call it a night. I'll tell you what. I'll come over tomorrow around 8 p.m. if it sounds good to you. Yeah, totally. <laughs> so much drama. I think I've seen all what I wanted at the Arcania Plaza for now. It's best if I call it a night. I'll, um, I'll have to make my next date with Naomi extra special to make up for tonight's drama. Yeah. This is why I like The Sims 2 for its dramatic moments. What's even funnier about The Sims 2, you literally could have your game unpause 
and you could have sims fighting in like five minutes this game is that chaotic and autonomous leaving a game on pause for 24 hours sims are bound bound to kiss each other fight each other who knows what <laughs> not dabbing with a clip <laughs> i love it <laughs> i love the sims so much about this guy uh this guy likes thanks for the show that'll be 40 simoleons <laughs> i'm charging you by the hour let's go home and let's rest i'm stressed that was insane <laughs> i can't believe this vincent moore you have a dramatic life but what i want to know where did he even meet samantha hayden that's the real question where do they even meet? You need to go back to work. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow as well. I'm so excited because tomorrow we'll be doing more shell tours. We're continuing our shell tours. Oh no, it comes up. My computer is slow. No. Uh, it didn't even go. That didn't even, that didn't go very well at all. Just like Greg would say. You win some, you lose some, dude. Yeah. Also, Brittany, you can leave my house at any time. I did not even invite you over. Oh, another package. A refrigerator. What? Okay, what's even funnier? Well, what's even crazier? So, some when Vincent Moore was away at like on a business trip for like two weeks... Samantha used our titanium credit card to buy so many things. She bought a guitar. She bought a couch. She bought a refrigerator. I'm like, ma'am, I don't think so. I want to sell this one, though, because this one does look a little bit better. But still, she took our money. I'm trying to make us go broke. Brittany, you can leave. Goodbye. I didn't even invite you when I go to my cousin's house. I didn't invite you over here. You can go. Uh, anyone here ever had to take a civics test in school? I did, and I hated it. Who took the money? Samantha, the ex. Chapter 11. Okay, so the confrontation between Samantha, Johnny, and me really didn't go so well, but it's good to know that Naomi can handle herself. She doesn't seem to be very shaken by this at all, and it's very, it's been helping me a lot. Good. But yeah, I took a civics, text, civic, civics test. I think it was ninth grade or like 10th grade. I can't remember which one it was, but I did not like it. Because I just don't like, I don't test well is the thing. That's just my thing. I don't test well in any subject. But I know you'll do well because you are a professional and you know stuff. It was grade 10 for you. Then it might have been grade 10 for me as well. And also, Jason, welcome in. How are you doing today? Uh, we're playing The Sims Life Stories today. And we're actually going to be finishing this story today, actually. So I've been very, very excited. Oh, but it's been good. It was civics and careers. Oh, 100 questions. I mean, that seems like reasonable to me. Civics is like, is like history. It's a different form of history class. Why does Twitter sometimes not post the latest tweets? I don't know. Twitter is very confusing sometimes when it comes to all that. You're excited for tomorrow? What's happening tomorrow? I know tomorrow on stream we're, we're doing more shell tours. Oh, wait, tomorrow the new pack comes out. I'm not playing it. I'm not playing the new pack until I get a statement from EA. So I'm also not uploading any early access content today. So don't expect any videos from me today and several like streamers and YouTubers. So. But I'm definitely excited for the pack, though. I hope that, you know, eventually everyone... We'll be able to enjoy the pack, you know? But overall, I'm very excited for, like, the weddings. I am making a vampire-themed wedding. 
that's the first thing I'm going to do because why not? <laughs> um, your school didn't call that really. Oh, a specific test is an oral test, and the U.S. CIS officer will ask the applicant up to 110 specific questions. Real. An oral test? Mine was a written, like, a written, like, different, like, um, what's it called? Um, filling in the blanks and, like, the bubbles. I never had an oral test for that before. Let me see. I didn't see it. Sims 4. Oops. Ooh, that is definitely not it. There we go. I'm just going to even offer that, actually. Really? That's not it. The Sims. Let me see. Did you see it on Twitter? I don't see anything. Oh. Where did you see that? I am. I'm going to be using a uh, base game to make a wedding venue. Yes, indeed I am. That's the first I'm going to do. I'm looking forward to like, uh, like all of that stuff. Make my first wedding venue and all that stuff. I haven't made a wedding venue in a long time. Oh, the Sims community broke the news on the issue. Oh, then I saw that. I saw what the Sims community posted, but I really want to see what the actual Sims team does, like what they actually publish. Oh, never mind. I saw it. <laughs> I saw it. Never mind. Not the new one. Oh, they did. Oh, it's on the forms. They didn't post it on Twitter, which I couldn't understand why they wouldn't, but they posted it on the Sims forms, which I never go to. I'll post the link in chat. I don't want to read it. Oops. That is not the... That's the wrong button. I'll post the link in chat for you all. There we go. Whew. So you can have it. Oh. There we go. I don't know. I think eventually they will post it on Twitter at some point, but usually it's the forums where they post most of the stuff. <laughs> I had the link pulled up and everything. But yeah, it's being pushed until February 21st. So a day after my birthday. You know, I think just, you know, just not to toot my own horn here or anything. I think The Sims just wanted to publish this. I knew they were, I feel like they were going to announce something eventually. But I feel like they said, happy early birthday to Spring Sims. Because I'm all, you know how I'm all about 6 p.m.? Okay. You know how I'm all about inclusion, diversity, and making sure everyone feels happy and welcome and appreciate it in any, like, in any way? I've always felt like The Sims was a game that was open for everyone. It was a game that allowed us to play how we wanted to play, escape reality, do what we wanted that we couldn't do in real life. And now I feel happy that Russia can finally play the game makes me so it makes me feel literally so happy i'm not kidding so this is like good i'm so pleased anyway but i'm good i'm done talking about it now that's all i wanted to say my feelings are now good also uh Okay, there we go. Victory! Wait, what are we doing? Oh, wait, we have to work on our, um, what's it, what's it called? Get ready for Naomi. Wait, this is gonna be the best day ever. I should brush up my guitar skills and make sure I can have my squeaking before Naomi comes over. Sir, you're always messy, but sure, let's go take a shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take a shower either way.
you did your first practice test for for it, it kind of struggled but got 10 and 10 hey that's good that's good do you think the questions were like really really difficult or like just semi easy because i always like i feel like tests like no matter what test it is they always just like you know change it at the very last second that's good could have used the guitar we uh bought ourselves true i mean we do still have our old guitar that we had i sold the one that samantha gave us and i'm like uh-uh no give my money back she says she used my titanium card i'm using mine Okay. Perhaps you all and Jovan making the stand. Yeah, it's important for everyone to play the game. Not just some, but all. Sir, you're doing too much. You know, okay. What do you all think? What size of a lot do you think this house would be on? Like in The Sims 4, what size lot do you think it's going to be on? I would say like maybe a 40 by 30 at the most. But why these windows up here? Why? <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Uh, I mean, they are pretty easy. Some of them, I guess, on like a debate between two answers. And I'm like, I'm like, well, it's just practice. So it's fine. It's practice. Yeah. Still good news. Still good news that it's good. I always second guess myself a lot. You know, on Tess, 60-40. In The Sims 4? I feel like in The Sims 4, probably like a 40 by 30. 40 by 30. Size lot. Because I want to recreate this house but better. <laughs> like, <gasps> oh, it's a little bit iffy. I forgot the highest one. Oh, the highest one in The Sims 4 is 64 by 64. The lowest that we can go is uh, 20 by 15, I think. So you think 4 by 30? Okay. I don't know I don't know about these hippie wallpapers, but they do look quite nice, I would say. Isn't that one? It would, be, it would be hard to match. I mean, don't we have hippie wallpaper, though, in The Sims 4? Or something like that? I feel like we do, but I can't remember. But I don't think the house is that big, though. Because based on, like, on the dimensions in the build, I feel like you honestly could literally shrink this house to be, like, like really small, but still making the same. I don't know. I'm going to do a series on YouTube where I want to rebuild the same house in The Sims 1, 2, 3, and 4. I was going to do that for the same anniversary, but then again, I just was busy. Oh, we need to go to the bathroom. We don't want to pee on ourselves on our date with Naomi today. No, 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 no. She's supposed to be coming around 6 p.m. And we're going to continue working on our guitar skill, which it should be up at... It looks at level 7. Yeah. It's just hard to match the bachelor lifestyle. It is. It really is. Don Lothario does not have a bachelor lifestyle anymore. He lives with three other people. Ooh, I wonder what, like, I wonder what it, what Don Lothario's dream house would look like in The Sims 4. Like, if he lived alone, what would it look like? It's a big house, but I think the roof is, uh, it's look bigger than it is. Yeah, the roof is just very gigantic, for sure. I can make it way better in The Sims, for sure. Especially in The Sims 2. My, ren my new rendition of won't you be my toaster of love? I'm sorry, excuse me? Won't you be my toaster of love is sure to knock her off her feet? That's the most exercise I've ever had of all week. I hope my odor is as heavily as my plane. Excuse me? Sir, so you're telling me that I hope my, my stink is as heavy as my plane? Or are you saying that your odor is... Or like your plane is so bad, or like so good, but it's like not too much that your odor won't like 
me as bad? Like, what is wrong with him? Is he, is he, is he good? Is, is he okay? She's a piece of toast. <laughs> uh, I don't think he took a shower. We'll take another one though, but he's, he's on a whole other plane field. He's a little bit, you know, messed up. 4 to by 30 for the house. Okay. Low cleaning skill for a reason. Oh yeah, he has level one. <laughs> he has level one in, in cooking or cleaning. Much better. I'm totally ready for Naomi now. Ill, will she be coming over? Or do I have to call her? I don't know how fussy Naomi is when it comes to cleanliness, but I'm sure she'll appreciate the jester. Plus, my guitar skills are off the charts. Sure. Oh, the plate. Oh no, clean it. Clean the plate, please. Clean the plate. I heard flies. Oh no, here's Naomi. Hi. <laughs> I'm nervous. Garbage outside. Garbage outside. Oh no, not my, not the roaches. Anything but the roaches. Oh no. Spread the roaches. Pick up the trash can. No. Don't tell me that was Naomi. I didn't even notice she was ringing the bell. I better be attentive. What's that when she comes over tomorrow? Oh my gosh. I was so preoccupied with the bugs that she left. Now we can do this all over tomorrow on a Monday. Pick up the pick up the trash can. Now I got roaches everywhere. The roaches. You know who I blame? Samantha. Samantha Hayden. She probably kicked, kicked over my trash can. I don't like Samantha at all. She's mean. I'm gonna save my game. Uh, name the roaches Samantha. Oh, if I could name roaches in this game, oh, I'd be do that in a heartbeat. And now we're sick with the flu. I love this day. Don't you all love a good Sunday night? Getting sick with the flu? Oh, it's so wonderful. I just love today. <laughs> now we're going to get Naomi sick. He just needs to rest. I've learned that in The Sims 2, I think, if you drink a lot of juice, you should be fine. But that might have been The Sims 3. If you drink orange juice in The Sims 3, your flu goes away. Blame everything on Samantha. It's always her fault. It's always her fault. So rude. Burned down my pool table. Broke my stereo sabotage all my dates made me bought a wedding arch a whole fridge she used my titanium card she probably spent over maybe forty-five thousand simoleons at the most i always hated that they would get sick from the roaches right and that was so annoying I'm like oh no this is not good i always had them like hire an exterminator or at least have them you know do some of themselves or at least like Work on their cleaning skill, because man, oh man, it was just awful. Study cleaning, please. You don't have work today anyway. He stomped on one roach and got the flu. Oh, he's healthy again. Yay. He's no longer sick. No longer a sick, sick man. Use the bathroom, use the shower, get a drink, practice your romance. I mean, you can like practice writing his novel. Might as well. And our sink broke. Right. Prepare your sink multiple times and then you can go eat some food. I feel like as Vincent is just... He just has bad luck. At least it's kind of accurate. True. Yeah, there was a patch, but it wasn't like a Sims delivery. It was a kind of a glitch thing. And yeah, can we get some mod love in the chat, please? And thank you. My mods are really out here doing the hard work today. Keeping chat nice and safe and wholesome. I am a, just a streamer. I stream games online. And that's also true. At least today is his day off. So it gives him a chance to work on his cooking and cleaning. Because he's a hot mess express. There we go. He really hates Samantha. Grill some hamburgers, please. Oh, the maid's here. Yay. He's so sad. Ooh, he now has level five in cooking. What can he make today? 
the same thing. Okay. <laughs> so when you're playing the new pack, so you'll be playing the new pack that is the same maybe during the 12 hour stream? Probably so, yeah. I'll probably play it during the 12 hour stream. We might actually try our best to give Bob pancakes the wedding that he deserves. So we'll do that on my birthday. Yeah. I'll do it that day instead of uh, tomorrow. So tomorrow I might change it around and we'll play Not So Berry tomorrow. And then do the whole wedding stuff next week. Because that way then everyone won't be able to have it. Because I don't want to build something yet until it releases in, in Russia. scared but yeah we'll definitely be like building the venue on the 22nd bought pancakes dream wedding without eliza and so and so forth so yeah we'll do that we love all the nostalgia even i showed my mom really um so glad i was able to visit this is what my day needed plus nostalgia i'm so glad and we have the social bunny look at that oh this social bunny dirty and they're missing an eye too Attack the social bunny. I didn't do it. My finger slipped. <laughs> My finger slipped. The social bunny. It only happens when your when your social is very low. <laughs> Looking like a sleep paralysis demon, you know, and that that's scary. Because what's even funnier, if we had if we had another sim in this lot. Only Vincent would be able to see the social bunny, but the other sims wouldn't. So other sims would think your sim was crazy for seeing and talking to things that weren't actually there. So. I think it'll be funny. Could have been called Brittany. You know, it's true. Could have been Brittany. Could have been Brittany. The therapist did the same thing. Yep. Including with the Sims 3, with the imaginary friend, you couldn't, um... Well, yeah, when your imaginary friend aged up into, like, a full-blown, like, walking-talking thing for your kids, other Sims couldn't see it, but the, only the kids could who owned that imaginary friend. Which I thought was so funny, because they thought the, the Sims kids were crazy. It's the little things that matter for me in The Sims, honestly. Would I want imaginary friends back again? No. Because those things were scary. Okay, Naomi is back. She's leaving again? Wait, what? I didn't hear the doorbell. <sighs> and now she's gone again. Now we got this all over again tomorrow when he has work. Well, this will be paid. That's all that matters. But let me call exterminator. exterminator. We miss the whole thing again. I can't believe this. The social bunny just wanted to help True. He thinks he doesn't like her. That's even worse. I mean, we do have 100 relationship and 75 romance. So that's at least something. Maybe I call Naomi, see what she's up to. Talk. She's talking to me. That's good. That's something. What if I invite her over? Will it trigger the event? I would love that. Let's see. Invite her over. She'll be right over. Nice. Now, don't go to bed. You're not tired. You're fine. But this time, answer the door. Oh, hello, Naomi. Nice to meet you. Sadly, this does not trigger the event. It can only happen when the game wants it to be. Sadly. She said that lawn, she saw that lawn and said, nope. It's like, uh-uh, I'm good. I'm going to go home. You s I see roaches. I see I need to get out now. <laughs> Let's have you scope the room. Ooh, I like when Sims scope the room because if they see a Sim that they like, they start glowing. Ooh. And she sprays the bugs for me. Oh, what a keeper. I'm going to actually have her leave so we don't ruin the, the game. But we will go to bed, though. 
we will go to bed. So this time I will stay at the front door. So she doesn't leave. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Nope. Sorry. Can't. Would Sam, Samantha do that though? Nope. She would stomp on them and leave the debris at your front door. <laughs> she was like, mm. it's like you're in a happy relationship. Nope. I don't think so. Um, but hopefully this works next time. This time around, we go to work, we get things done, and we'll call it here. But we'll leave our trash for the mate. They they can clean it up, I guess. Stive, we go to work today. Let's take a little quick shower, go potty, and then we'll go to work in our helicopter. Why pay for a simulator when Naomi can do it for free? Exactly. She does it at her own free will. Oh, there were more. Samantha would just <laughs> let them set them on fire. True. There was more of them. Interesting. I've taken care of the pest problem. You are now buck free. Thank you. Right, right. It'll be releasing on the 21st. Correct. Yes, yes. Okay. Oh, was not passing speed three. This is our time to shine, besties. Naomi will be the love of our life. I can feel it. I can smell it. Smelly smell. Smelly smell. Can't believe the maid <laughs> watched the bugs happen. I was surprised that they didn't do it themselves. You just pick up my news, but who are you? Claire Gray? I don't know you, but you just picked up my newspaper. But okay, you do you. You too, you, Claire. Also, who was my coworker? Aaron Philippine. Good to know. So we have a couple more hours of until Naomi shows up officially. I think around six. Yeah. Sadly enough. Oh, we have no chemistry. We have my medium chemistry with Naomi. I've always found this stuff fascinating for me. Daily relationship changes quickly based on recent interactions. Lifetime re lifetime relationships change slowly over time. The icons below the meter show what type of relationship two Sims share. Remember, Sims in a relationship may not share the same feelings towards each other at the same time. Hmm. Interesting. Naomi, are you going to show up anytime? She's here. Oh my gosh, yes. Greet Naomi right now. Do it right now. Yes, she's here. Oh. Little Foxy, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing so well. We are playing The Sims Life Stories. We're on the last and final chapter of Vincent's story. So I am doing quite swell today. But I hope you're doing good though. And I would love to know if you've played ever um, Sims Life Stories with The Sims 2. So Naomi said, oh, Vincent, I miss you so much. So what's the plan for tonight? Hey, that new show for for love or for Samoans is on. Can we watch it together? Totally. For love or Samoans, so Love Island or The Bachelor? Oh, they did. Surprise, surprise, the Oh no. No. I still haven't installed the game. Look, I have the game already. I just haven't installed it yet. I, need, I might install it today and work on some builds um, so I can go ahead and get those videos done and ready and upload it to YouTube. But yeah, I might do that actually. So after stream, I'll install it and work on some stuff. If there's anything that you want me to like look at specifically in the pack, let me know. Cause I kind of want to do like a short little mini series called Rags to, Rags to, not Rags to Witches, but like Rags to Marriage or whatever. It's something. Wait, hey, do you have a telescope? I'd love to see that satellite you've been talking about so much. That was an awesome episode, wasn't it? 
I didn't think her ex-boyfriend would even kidnap her aunt. What? I didn't think her ex-boyfriend would actually kidnap her aunt. So you're saying that Dylan was on that show with Riley Harlow? Riley? And Iris Cloud, thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome in. Can we welcome in the raid is here today, please and thank you. But yeah, Riley. Riley Harlow. Not Dylan Bean or... So Riley went on a show called For Love or For Simoleons. What in the world? And you're doing good. I'm so glad you're doing good today. What were you doing today in your stream? Uh, Aaron, get out of my tub. You're... Go home. You're not wearing anything. Uh, you totally know about Sim stuff. When people make mods to alter Sim's behavior in the Sim's forward programming language, are they using... I, so there's two things. I believe that they're using either Sims 4 Studio. Well, actually, I think they're using Sims 4 Studio for their uh, altering like the game and making mods. I know other people use this program called Python, which is another program that you can use to like make programs and other stuff for other games and software. But yeah, people use like Python, Sims 4 Studio are the only two ones that I know when it comes to making mods and like coding. But if you want like really, like really, really in-depth mods to make, I would use Python. And I think Wicked Whims, they probably use Python as well because it's so in-depth and in what you can do that's not actually in the game. So I would say Python. Why her aunt though? Because Dylan didn't like Riley and Dylan, Dylan was kind of uh, upset that Riley was seeing somebody else but him. Sad. Ranch Simulator started over last week and finally have some have things starting to look at your ranch. Oh, good. I've never played Ranch Simulator before, actually, but it sounds interesting. And yeah, Riley was in the entertainment career, yes, as a superstar, I think. Oh, Vincent, it looks so beautiful. Wow, so bright, Aaron, you can leave. <laughs> I know it does sound fun. I've always been in, I've always wanted to like make mods myself, but I just didn't really have the time to really do all of it, you know. I try to make careers my I try to make careers in The Sims 4. I've started, but then I stopped because it was too much. Stream for almost six hours. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm glad you had fun, though. That's good. Oh, my guitar skills. That's right. Let me just show off some good old-fashioned guitar in this. Some rock. Yes. Aaron said third will who? Exactly. I would totally love to find out more in online. It is kind of actually limited on programming aspects unless anyone in chat can point me to any resources. YouTube. Let me tell you, YouTube is the best possible way. I look at all of my like my resources and like methods about modding and making custom content on YouTube. I think there's some like videos on YouTube about how to make mods. How to make mods in Python. Uh yeah. I think so. Yeah, lurk away, lurk away. And you're welcome. Yeah, I've learned how to make a few custom content pieces in Blender from like watching YouTube videos and it helps so much. There are certain videos that go like step by step and really go through it and tell you how to do it. And it made it so seamless and so easy. I'm almost there. I'm almost making my very first like CC object to make it functional and make it look good in Blender. And when I tell you, I'm so excited to make a custom content set all by myself. I really am. But yeah, hopefully that helps you, PK Patricia. YouTube is a is a saint. Okay, Aaron, you need to leave and get out of my house. Leave. Bye. Whoa. That was great. Come here, you. Oh gosh, smoochin? Smoochin? Before marriage? <sighs> Unbelievable. What's happening? Brittany calling me again. Naomi is everything I've ever wanted. I wonder what she would say if, 
if I ask you to move in with me? Oh my gosh. Do you want to move in with me, Naomi? Where did you go? Oh, she's right here. Oh my gosh, Naomi's gonna move in with me. I'm so excited. I was trying to make my very first um, TV set slash bookcase, but I want to go more simple and probably make a coffee table and probably like an, uh, yeah, a coffee table first before I do anything big. But yeah, wishing you luck, PK Patricia. Are you kidding me, Naomi? Joined our family with a hundred thousand simoleons. Oh my, Naomi was rich. Vincent, I love moving with you. I'm so happy you find I finally met such a great guy. Oh, that's so nice. But now we know Naomi is a Pisces, so she's very neat, very shy, very active, serious, but very nice. Interesting. Naomi, you're the only reason I stayed sane these past couple weeks. Me and you both. Vincent, I'm glad I was able to make a difference in your life. I, you really have. It's just it's just that ever since I got back from launching that satellite, my luck has been terrible until you came into my life. I can't. I'm screaming. That's so nice. Oh. People make uh, make their own luck, Vincent. Since it's so nice out, out tonight, why don't we sit on the lawn and watch the stars together. <gasps> yeah, we should. Come over here. Let's start gaze over here. Pisces rising. Ooh, woo. My main sign is a Pisces. Everything is so perfect right now. A wonderful girl and a clear, beautiful night. Romance is in the air, burning bright and hot. It'll be great to sit out on the lawn together and stargaze. Yes. Stargazing, do, 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 do. Oh, I can't. <gasps> that's, well, that's not how the animation is supposed to go, but it looks cute this way. Stargaze with the roaches were, yes. Love me some water signs, right? Wait, do we stargaze together? Wait, oh, I think it's a flirt. Retain, appreciate, intimidate. I don't remember. Stargaze. Uh, let's see. Click on her icon. Wait, where did I know? Where did Naomi go? Wait, she was right there. She was. Naomi was right there. What happened? <laughs> what? Not her getting crushed by a satellite. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is terrible. And with my own satellite, oh, Naomi, if I plead for my case with Grim Reaper, maybe he'll return her to me. I hope so. What the? <laughs> I can't believe this. What in the world? Grim, give me my Naomi back right now. I dare you. Your request intrigues me, mortal. I will give you what you ask, but on one condition. I will return Naomi to you, but you will forfeit all your earthly belongings. You must value her more than your own worth. So, do we have a deal? Yes, pause. Wait, what happens? Well, well, mortal. Maybe the two of you find happiness in poverty. For farewell. Not really. <laughs> the Sims 2 would do this to me. I cannot believe this. I saved her from death. They always say death do its part. Take that death. Wow. I feel powerful. Now she's swoon. I cannot believe this. Oh my goodness. Chapter 12. Well, I had to give up my fortune, home, and job. But Naomi is alive and that's what matters to me. You know, I've always thought somehow I would end up broke and homeless, but I thought I would have a, have more to do with my industrial accident than a woman I love. But as long as she can spot me a burger, I think I'll be okay. <laughs> so that's literally the end of Vincent's story. My mom said if if she was go if she was gone, Samantha would become would come back. 
Yeah. I would I believe that. I believe that 100 percent If Naomi was gone, Samantha would come running back saying, hey, you're rich still. We should get married. Like, uh, no. Dim, yeah, this is a glitch that happens in the Sims life stories. I've done this before, but what's funny is that they never take the money. Crash and Mega burned. Greg lives over here. S Sherman lives over here. I don't know who you are, but you're someone. Alexa Star lives over here. Who are you? Sasha lives over there too? And then Samantha lives all the way over here. But where's our house? Oh, our house is all the way over here. Our house is basically just non-existent because we no longer have our house anymore. We cannot afford this house. Wait, let's see. Family, funds, more, 200,000, wait a minute. Does it work that way? <laughs> it does work, <laughs> but I don't want to live in that house. The house is actually kind of sad. But then again, the houses look nice. I remember the first house I moved in after I did all this. I moved into this home over here. Took over. Uh, Samantha, you over over a lake. Why come bother us? We live. We literally live in a. We live in a secluded area. Sims would literally have to drive drive over the bridge just to get to us. We had our own private area. No neighbors. No nothing. At all. Like, Sims 2 was... This is Vance. This is wild. I guess we could probably live... I don't know. So we live in our old mansion. Literally so far from our house. Her, she lives all the way over here. Like, why is she coming over here to bother me? Makes no sense. Gene pool. I don't know where we should live. Where should we live? I like that the terrain, though. Yeah, it's definitely very nice. All little boaties thrown into the water. Yes, you should get The Sims 2. I highly recommend it. Oh, this is nice. Oh, look, there's a hot tub over here. That's nice. That's another nice house. Near Samantha? No. She's crazy. I could technically... I could build my own house if I wanted to, but the lot sizes are so small. Wait, traditional brick, four bedroom, three bathroom. <gasps> Ooh, wait, no. Can I, put this, can I put it right here? I can't put it where I want? Smack dab in the middle? <gasps> yes, right here. Oh, we have a new house, besties. We have a new house. We basically own two properties in our own little area. <laughs> That's a bugger. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so crazy. I cannot believe this. Our house in the background with our new house. Oh, so cute. And we're really broke. Grim literally took all of our money. We only have 100, 139,985 simoleons. We were like rich. We had 2.9 million simoleons. Grim took everything. Our house is basically empty. And now we have a new house. And you know, the house is not that bad looking. Naomi has no job and neither does Vincent. They have no jobs whatsoever. <laughs> they broke, sad, and jobless. Not great. Not great at all. But I will give them jobs though. So this gives us a way where we can finally play them freely however we want. We can build, we can give them jobs, have kids, and etc. etc. Which I think is a really nice concept that i really appreciate a lot about the sims 2 life stories it gives us hope gives us hope and of course we're very limited with the generic base game items in this game however we do have more advanced never mind that's a lie we do not security alarm he actually lost everything for her literally everything we lost it all we need we definitely need a nice little uh, house phone. We do also need a nice computer. We don't even have the fancy kind. We have a regular laptop and all. 
And you know what's crazy? What I just realized, I literally could have taken everything from our old house and put it into our new house. Because the last time I did, the last time I played this game, when Grim like gave back gave me back Naomi, I paused the game so quickly and then put everything in our inventory. I could have, I should have done that. I literally should have done that before we moved on to like the next step in our life. Oh well, too late now. It's okay. I think it's important for us to start anew and a new life and a new area for Vincent and his newfound relationship with Naomi. His one true love. It's not centered and I want to cry. This one right here. This is very cute though. I kind of like the idea of all this. Also, we don't even have these couches or end tables in the regular Sims 2 game. There's a lot of restrictions or a lot of objects that are in this game, but not in the original game, which is very weird to me. I don't know why. You miss landlines? So do I. Landlines were like the best thing ever. The best kept secret. Oh, must be put on land? Oh, you say that now. Everything happened so quick. It's like air. It was there and then it was gone. Swoosh. Goes everything. I'm like, I'm broke. I'm broker than broke than Brandy broke, but a little bit more rich than Brandy broke. But hey, what can you do? We do need a little bit of, um, we need some more living room decor. Let's get ourselves our video game machine. We have a nice kitchen though, which is good. Very nice kitchen. Um, our living room is pretty much done. So it's a four bedroom, four bedroom, three bathroom home. And a nice awning, or like not awning, but a nice like overlook on the second floor. That's really cool. I never do this in my Sims 2 homes ever, but I like stuff like this. This is pretty cool. That rug 10 out of 10 should be in the Sims 4. Yes. I used to want to have a Sims 2 PC in real life. I thought they were really cool. I thought they were cool too. Like that laptop looks so high tech and amazing that can I have that IRL please? Also, why in the world is there carpet in the bathroom of all things? Uh-uh, no, 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 mm-mm. No, why in the world is there carpet in the bathrooms? That's just unacceptable. You don't put carpet in the bathroom. It gets smoggy and nasty and moldy. Uh-uh, not in this lifetime. I do not think so. Who do they think we are? Savages? No. Everything gets hardwood floor. Carpet's icky in The Sims. I hate it. I literally hate carpet in this game. Or any Sims game. It's just not right. <laughs> I had carpet into the kitchen. That'd be even worse. That'd be even worse. Ooh, I kind of like these floor tiles. Ooh, I like that one better. Some of these are not that bad, to be honest. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. We do need our own bedroom, which will be over here. Let's put ourselves a bed. But we'll call it here for now, and we'll do the clip of the day as per usual. Why is it not centered? Hold up. I don't think it'll work, but I'll see. Bull prop. Snap. Objects. To grid. False? Oh my gosh, it works. These cheats work. I feel blessed. Because I was like, Sims 2 stuff does not center correctly. And you can't alt place stuff in this game. It won't work. So you have to type in a bunch of cheats so it does like place where you want it. But Lordy Lou. I just want it smack dab in the center. I hope they bring back the Sims 2. Apparently people are really wanting it. Yes. I really want people, like more people to play the Sims 2. It's my ultimate favorite game to play every once in a while. And it's just so good. It really is. Oh, you can't, I can't place it there. What are you saying? Nope. Move up, just on. I can do what I want, when I want, when I please. Okay, there we go. So we, we got all that out the way, but I think to call it, call it a good way to end off, I think we should actually have Vincent propose to Naomi. I think it'd be kind of a really good way to end it off. Engagement. I love Diner Dash. I used to play that game religiously. Oh, 
it's so cute. I miss these cutscenes. These are so cute and adorable. They're my favorite. Cute. Yay. Okay. Now that we have that, they're engaged to be married. Was saved from death by Vincent. <laughs> do you think we should have a shotgun wedding in our backyard like last time? Let's do it. Let's have a shotgun wedding in our backyard. Just like Samantha did with me last time. We have one wedding arch and that's literally it. I'm just going to put that cheat back and that cheat back on. There we go. <laughs> uh, that's the one funny clip. <laughs> it's definitely a very funny clip for sure. Cue me rapidly screenshotting for those Tumblr posts, right? Getting married. We just got engaged. Marriage, 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 marriage. Don't leave. Don't run away. Get married right now. There we go. But you can't play it because my laptop can't play this. Hey, book fan, book fan, you can always buy an external CD drive. That's what I did. Because my PC does not have one, but by, I bought an external one. Hold up. Wait a minute. Who are you? Cole. I don't know you, sir. You're also a teenager. Who are you? Also, you, you look like a grown man in a teenager's body. Anyway. Oh, and now he's called Vincent Hunt. Love that. He's getting married in a tank top. Yes. Oh. Well, whenever you can get one, definitely a worthy investment. Oh, and the Sims 2 Sims actually wear their, their wedding rings and they keep them on forever and ever, which I think is super cute. But I hope you all enjoyed the Sims, the Sims life stories. That is not all we're playing. Yeah, they're usually like $30 or $40 at Target or Best Buy. Sometimes Amazon sells a cheaper too. Yeah, there's also, there's a lot cheaper ones. You don't always get the high expensive ones, of course, for them to work. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed The Sims Life Stories. I had a lot of fun playing this, to be honest. It's been the best, like, game ever played on stream that I really enjoy. So, Sims Life Stories is over. Our next adventure will be... Our next adventure will be Castaway Stories. So, we'll be living on a deserted island, and we're going to have to try and get off. So, I'm very excited. We might play this uh, next week or something like that. I'm not sure entirely, but I will let you know when we'll be playing Castaway Stories next. And uh, that'll be one of those things. But before we go, we're going to do the clip of the day. As always, it always brings me so much joy to see some good old fashioned chaos. That is clips on Twitch. Well, let's see what we got here today, besties, shall we? Shall we, shall we, shall we, shall we, shall we, shall we, shall we? Yes. You love Castaways. Castaway Stories is like one of my favorites out of like the franchise besides life stories because I love living on a deserted island, which I think is really cool. But clip of the day. Leave Susie on the run. Oh. <laughs> Look, all the people just running away. <gasps> Oh no! <laughs> what? Oh no! Susie said nom nom. <laughs> well then, um... So... We know about the animals now, um... Jeannie, I'm gonna have to ask you to fix this lovely fence here. Um, yeah, um, uh, yeah, so, <laughs> uh, 
Jurassic World, like, yeah, it's Jurassic World Evolution 2. That game is quite chaotic, let me tell you. Um, I mean, I did know dinosaurs did eat things, but I think what's going to happen in the game, it ate one of the workers. It ate one of the people in my lovely little zoo habitat area. Susie broke the gate and started attacking people. And then Susie got sick. And I realized Susie was sick because they ate a person who had a cell phone in their pocket. So Susie is just out here causing trouble. Susie Crabgrass from Nez Declassified or Susie Carmichael from Rugrats. Whichever have you. Both equally crazy at times. Zoo Tycoon Dino Digs are, was similar. It was. And that's why I loved Jurassic uh, Park. Jurassic Park was like my favorite because it reminded me of... Um, Whatchamacallit, Zoo Tycoon, yeah, 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 totally, 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 well, besties, the quote of the day, um, yes, however, the shell is over, but yeah, you could use the, the items in the, in the shell, in the, uh, little U-Haul thing, yes, but the quote of the day shall be besties, Savannah is sad in her, oh, no, nah, no, nah, I can't. <laughs> that song is so old. Havana by Camila Cabello is so old. Why? It's so old and sad. No more. Nothing like this. No, no, no. <laughs> but besties we are gonna go on a bit of a raidy raid and i think we should send some love over to a new streamer today and i would love to send some love hype and positivity over to my good good dear friend hey eggy because eggy is playing stardew valley and you all know how much I love a good Stardew Valley moment. They are in the year one right now. Year one and they're in the winter time right now. Like, look at their, look at their, look at this. Isn't this adorable? Their stuff is beautiful. I love their farm. We need to work on our farm dab, by the way. We got to work on our farm. That's what, what we got to do for sure, besties. Work on the farm. Get things situated. You know, the usual. But it was really fun hanging out with you all. I hope you all enjoyed today's stream and hanging out with me. Our next stream will be tomorrow at 6 p.m. We'll be doing more shell tours tomorrow. I have a very long list of tours tomorrow. So I don't know if I'll be able to get through more of them after we finish the tours, but we'll see. But thank you all for hanging out with me and being your lovely selves. And I shall see you all tomorrow. Bye. Peace.